Hey there, Rotterdam White Scar fans. This is uh, Jeroen from Rotterdam White Scars with yet another Rotterdam White Scar battle report. Um, today we're going to do another Song of Ice Fire battle report. Oh, no painting material? No, not today, man. Oh, not I today. Have to play. <laughs> yeah, you need to play once, uh, uh, once okay. again. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I brought uh, Thijs from the painting table. I want to play a, a cool classic uh, Stark versus Lannister this game. This is the difference between guys who like painting and guys who like. Oh, <laughs> uh, schmeck. <laughs> Maybe you should paint my miniatures then as well, man. Uh, no. So, uh, <laughs> no, too bad. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna play a forty point game. Um, it's Ty's first time with with Starks actually. Yeah. On the table and everything. He, yeah. Actually. I play a few games, but uh, this is actually uh, my first army is uh, Starks. I played. I borrowed some Greyjoy once against uh, Sean. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah. To be honest, uh, we, we really see uh, you guys enjoying our videos and that really pushed me to start playing because yeah. uh, I really enjoyed watching them uh, as well. Yeah. Most of the times I'm actually the guy behind the camera, so that's why I, <laughs> I'm actually... True. That's why I know a bit a, a bit uh, uh, on how to play the game, and but I'm also... Yeah, I re really appreciate your, uh, your commitment to our videos and... Uh, also see a lot of guys uh, and girls uh, subscribing to our channel, uh, yeah. growing uh, every day, seeing the engagement. Uh, we really try to push uh, our battle reports as well. Yeah. Uh, and just also just enjoy the moment. So this is uh, this battle report is not necessarily uh, pushing the content. It's more enjoying the content. Yeah. Because and of the past few battle reports that's been doing so well for uh, Song of Ice and Fire. Um, yeah. yeah, we're doing it for you, uh, all, all of you out there. So again, thank you very much. Keep that uh, momentum for us going because, yeah, as I said, it really motivates us to do this. Uh, we see that uh, these intros and everything and the explanation of the army combos, that kind of stuff really helps. Uh, so, but yeah, uh, in the end, we always ask for feedback as well. So uh, don't forget to give the feedback because we listen to every comment to try to react on to it. and. Yeah, try to give you guys the best content yeah. that's out there. Um, so yeah, indeed, this is not only for us, but it's also for you. Uh, and yeah, hopefully you can enjoy today with uh, the true classic Stark versus yeah. Lanters, uh, it's Lannisters. It's a classic, a uh, little bit of add-on with some newer units, but we yeah. actually are going to use some of the Kickstarter units from way back. So yeah. that's pretty cool. Well, you'll see that in our army explanation. Mm -hmm. um, and we also want to uh, thank a couple of people, people who are sub subscribing to our channel, liking our videos and also engaging in comments or via our Discord or Facebook pages. Yeah. Uh, and also a special thank, of course, for our patrons who uh, support us uh, along the way. Absolutely. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, uh, please do so because it really helps us out a lot and also gets you notified if new uh, videos uh, come up. You have to check the bell icon. But I don't have to explain that because you're on YouTube and you're watching a lot of peop uh, people uh, asking you to subscribe and click the, the bell icon so that, that will be fine. Yeah. Um, but it really helps uh, uh, smaller channels like ours uh, grow a, a lot. Yeah. And, uh, um, Absolutely. If you have any comments on armies that you want to see, and also for me, I'm playing Starks, but I'm still configuring stuff. So if you want to see some cool stuff for Starks or want to see some cool stuff for Lannisters, that's just nice. uh, put it down in the comments and if you're a patron you can also ask us on patreon so that's fine yeah uh, yeah just uh, to clear up we're gonna do winds of winter so uh, secret objectives and everything uh, yeah let's get into the uh, army composition and explanation yep hey guys my name is Thijs aka the shaman painter you've probably seen me before in this channel uh, with my painting tutorials sometimes I join in for a battle or two um, this is the first time in a long time that uh, I'm bringing my, uh, my Stark Force to the table. Uh, I've been painting some new miniatures for this Force, so uh, Jeroen asked me if I would want to play a game against him. Uh, I said uh, on, on, only under one condition, and that's if I could uh, take uh, Brynden Tully on a horse as my commander, um, because that's the favorite model I've painted uh, from the range for Song of Ice and Fire, and it's also one of, that has a lot of cool cavalry uh, tactic cards. Um, and but it's it's rarely used because it was one of the Kickstarter exclusive models, so that's also the reason it's sometimes banned on tournaments or people don't have a lot of experience with. So I hope you appreciate uh, this uh, kind of uh, rare on the uh, rare, rarely seen model on the table. Um, yeah, because he influences a lot of cavalry units, I've taken two, 
Uh, one is the uh, the Tully Cavaliers. It's a new unit of 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 mine, uh, and that I haven't painted up, uh, but I'm working on it uh, as one of my products right now. And I also took a unit of Stark Outriders, with um, uh, one of the Stark loyal uh, loyal houses called uh, House Little Glory Seeker. So that's attachment in this unit. Then I'm filling up the ranks with two units of, uh, of regular st Stark uh, Sworn, Shield, Sworn Swords and a unit of Stark Bowmen. Also with uh, um, uh, Kranichman Warden. That's also one of the models that I painted up for my Kickstarter set as one of, one of the, my uh, newly finished models. And the Kranichman Warden really helps because if uh, a unit enters uh, the long range of, uh, of the unit of Bowmen, they can actually shoot on them. As a, as a order, I also used K Kathleen, Caitlin and, uh, uh, and Sansa um, for my NCU uh, uh, coverage. Uh, I've chosen two because I don't think I want to have three. And that also gives up a little bit more options for my uh, units. Uh, as you can see, it's quite heavy. Three infantry units, two uh, uh, cavalry units, and actually two attachments in there as well. I also going to use uh, for the first time a new Newly painted up um, um, activation banners. Yeah. So what 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 will we do? Uh, what will be my tactic? Um, yeah. To 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 be to be fair, I can draw out a lot of uh, combat with uh, with this unit, and also with the tactic cards of uh, of uh, of Brennan Tully, I can make uh, people uh, that that end the move 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 march or retreat within. Uh, long range, uh, I can actually charge them, so I can counter other cavalry units. I hope that will work out pretty fine. I can hold on to objectives with uh, the sworn, uh, sworn shields, sworn swords, actually not sure what they are. And the bowmen are quite great because they can also shoot through other units because they have volley fire. And volley fire uh, ignores other units and terrain for determining line of sight. So I hope that will be a big benefit for me. Um, the weakness for this army uh, the movement. <laughs> These units <laughs> are considerably slower than the others, so I have to keep everything uh, together. So I don't run too far with my cavalry units or uh, keep too far behind with my uh, infantry units. And I also don't have a lot of NCU control. Uh, I'm playing Jeroen with his Lannisters. They focus a lot of, uh, on uh, NCU control and uh, uh, getting the crown and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'm also quite an inexperienced player. So I'm also go just going to enjoy the, the, the game and see what, uh, what it will bring me. So uh, wish me luck. All right, guys. So today we're going to try it again. We're going to play Lannisters. Uh, still want to give them another try uh, because last time against the other battle reports, uh, they didn't do so well. I'm not going to tell you everything. You just need to watch the other battle reports uh, so you can see... Uh, uh, what? But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try out a new commander. Uh, today I'm gonna try out uh, Tywin, uh, the Lord of Castle Rock. Uh, he will be in a unit of Bolton Blackguards. Uh, why did I put him in there instead of the Lannister Guardsman or anything like it? Well, um, first off, it's a really safe bunker. Uh, again, it's just like the Guardsman are 3 plus safe, but they've got the horrific visage, a special rule, which means that. If you want to make an attack action on him, you need to do a, a panic test with minus one for each remaining rank in my force, which is amazing. So minus three, near corpse spells, minus four, or uh, hear me roars or stuff like that. I can even up that as well. And uh, Tywin also brings uh, next to threaten. So when he activates, uh, I can put down uh, in long range and line of sight uh, a weakened token. I can also... Uh, give one of the units Lannister Supremacy, and since the Bolton Blackguard doesn't uh, don't have Lannister Supremacy, uh, they are also becoming units with that ability, which is amazing because the guard uh, the guard units already have it. Um, and yeah, it has a three plus save, so Tywin is pretty okay, uh, including with his issue command card that I can forego his activation and activate another unit within long range. So if he doesn't do that much. Um, I can let another unit do something like, let's say, the Flayed Man or uh, a unit guardsman that's maybe in the sight of my opponent. Um, so he's my commander. Um, he will be accompanied with three other units. I've got four units on the board. A bit something that you see now more often with Lannisters. Uh, 
because yeah, five is, is pretty tough now these days. It's got two units of guardsmen again, and uh, only this time I removed the captain. Um, and I'm trying trying out the assault veteran. So I've got both uh, different sculpts in here. This is was the Kickstarter exclusive uh, um, sculpt, and this is the new sculpt. Uh, and what they do right now is uh, intimidating presence. So when uh, uh, an opponent is uh, base to base with me, they get another minus one on panic tests and another uh, plus one on damage. So in combination with Lannister Supremacy, it can be quite devastating because then you get minus four um, and plus four on the damage roll added to your uh, D3 uh, if you're... Uh, yeah, if you need to do a uh, land supremacy check and I still have all my ranks, which is kind of nice uh, Yeah, to back those up or to add uh, some help with them I've got the bolt and flayed men uh, with me as well. They also have intimidating presence But they still have critical blow fishes that kind of stuff uh, Which hopefully can hold uh, ties off to charge me on the side or charge one of my units uh, uh, So that they can counter charge in there um, so I've got three really good defensible blocks. Um, however, they get assisted by uh, the High Sparrow again. That one is there to heal me up again. Uh, since I've got a lot of minuses on the board uh, through units, attachments and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully this time uh, someone can fail a panic test now what, so I can heal up again. I also have Pycelle with me. Uh, Pycelle of course did ditches out a, a weakened token. Uh, which can be really nice, so uh, because yeah, Tywin Scarch needs some panic uh, or sorry, weekend tokens on there, uh, and well, uh, letters, Pycelle, and Tywin himself, I can ditch out quite a lot of weekend tokens towards uh, my opponent ties. Uh, further, I also brought um, uh, Tyrion, the imp, so the, his NCU, he, uh, he gives the opportunity as a Lannister player to hold four cards instead of three cards. Uh, and I can draw an extra card, so instead of five, I can have six cards in hand. And once per game, uh, when I really, really need it, I can draw counterplot out of my uh, discard pile or th uh, from the deck to try and prevent a card. So if Thais has a really good card or a really good combo setting up, uh, so let's say Winter is Coming or uh, Winter's Might, and I think I really need to block that card, I can use Tyrion to prevent that, which is also really nice. Uh, and further, yeah, uh, I know from Thais that he's bringing Brynden Tully uh, because we want to use some cool miniatures on the board that you don't see that often. So I chose one as well. Uh, I am bringing uh, Mame Jamie with me. And Mame Jamie is also from the Kickstarter. Uh, what he does is before deployment, I need to attach him in one of an enemy infantry unit. Um, uh, and what he does is he gives that unit a plus one on their morale so they become a bit better. Um, but if I kill the unit, uh, I will get another VP, uh, but he needs to be the last one, of course, to get out there. So it's pretty tough if you've got multiple attachments in there. Uh, and also if I have the crown, uh, that unit gets a minus one to hit, uh, which can be really tough as well. So I can decide maybe to put him in archers or a Stark Sworn Sword unit to try and prevent ties of not getting uh, into him, uh, yeah, one of the locations where to charge me. Uh, because then, yeah, his Stark Sworn Shorts are going to hit on fives, which is uh, pretty survivable for me. So, uh, yeah, seven activations. Um, let's see how they do today. Let's see how the dice are doing for me as well. And, uh, yeah, let's get into the game right now. Okay, guys, so welcome on the board. Today we're going to play another game of uh, Song of Ice and Fire, 40 points. Um, as we said in the, the description here before, uh, the classic uh, Starks versus Lannisters. So, yeah. first off... Uh, the scenario we're going to play is the Winds of Winter. Um, for those who are not aware, is uh, this uh, mission has five objectives in the middle. And you've got uh, two cards, number 11 and 12. And then both players decide for secret cards. So me and Thijs... Uh, both got um, four uh, yeah. special cards. Can yeah. be anything. Yeah, except can... for 11 and 12, because we already had to pick those. Yeah. Uh, and at uh, the start of round two, we're going to place them both... On the table uh, in the mission it says first player needs to place and reveal it right away um, most of you uh, and i also played quite a few online is always we both lay one close down and then we open it so it gives more randomness towards uh, 
the game modes, which can be cooler. It's a bit more exciting as well, so uh, yeah, that's so why we chose uh, to, to do, do this that. as well. Yeah, okay. Uh, then for the terrain, well, we rolled D3 and random terrain. So today we have five pieces of terrain. Uh, maxed out. <laughs> maxed out indeed. We've got some stakes. We've got two corpse piles. And we've got two uh, palisades and what. Um, we both got something we like because the palisades don't block my arrows. Yep. And the corpse piles really help you with your uh, panic uh, debuffs. Y uh, yeah, but what is it? My uh, my morale is not as good as yours. So we have to wait and see if, it not, if it's not biting my ass as well. Uh, so I made the roll off. Uh, so I need I could choose side, so I chose this side uh, and I needed to deploy first and Thijs is gonna decide when we have the cards who's going to be first player. So for the lineup uh, over here I've got my unit of um, Lannister Guardsman with an Assault Veteran. I've got my House Bolton Blackguard with Tywin Lannister as my commander. I've got my Bolton Flateman in the middle. I've got my another uh, Lannister Guardsman with Assault Veteran in there. And my NCUs are uh, the High Sparrow, Pycel, and Tyrion Lannister. Uh, further, I also have an enemy attachment, so I need to uh, adjust that one into Tyce's unit, uh, which is amazing because it's the only one not painted on Tyce's side. Almost, or almost, almost not painted. Yeah. Uh, and that's uh, Mame Jamie, uh, and I've deployed him uh, over there. He stands uh, out like a sore thumb, so uh, indeed. he probably has... Oh, he doesn't have a thumb anymore. Oh, uh, uh, so bad, man, so bad. <laughs> so bad, so bad. Uh, so yeah, Thijs, uh, what is your deployment? Yeah, I try to deploy uh, as close-knit as possible. Also, maybe focusing on some of the objectives that I want to achieve later on, my secret missions. Cool. Uh, yeah, of course, I put uh, down the, the, the bowmen behind the palisade, because I can move up to them and just shoot... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, the, the, and, and claim the, the middle ground. I'm a bit clumsy with Starks because uh, the last time I played them was the first edition, I guess, after the maybe a, a year after the uh, the Kickstarter ended. So that's 2017 something. Yeah. So uh, and also I'm not really a veteran player. I played once on the channel with my uh, with uh, the borrowed Greyjoy from my room. Yeah. You, you mostly see me painting models. That's why I have a sort of painted force. Um, but now I also want to, uh, to play a bit more, so that's why you see me on the table. Mm -hmm. um, I that's why I also have my stat, uh, a song of ice fire stats page on uh, my my mobile phone to look up the rules and just printed out the cards. So I'm a bit uh, of a noob, so uh, I need some help from your room to play this game. Yeah. But he's awesome uh, when it comes to guiding people and uh, and especially new new players. I don't think I'm a new uh, hobbyist, but I'm a new player, uh, relatively new player. So, uh, I I especially, I think with Starks. I think yeah. you you know how to play with Targaryen. You have some experience Greyjoy. with Greyjoy, but Stark it has been quite no, a while. No, this is actually the first time properly playing with Starks, uh, okay. and also I don't have a lot of games under my belt, so I'm just going to be here with the fun. Yeah, and also play. Uh, I also asked Jeroen if I could play my favorite character, which is uh, Brendan Tully on a horse. It's also one yeah. of my best painted models from this force, so uh, that's why I, uh, yeah. You will invite me, let's play some uh, some games for the channel. So uh, Yeah, and then... I'm always uh, very afraid of my mighty force. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely, man. Uh, I think Starks have become really, really good. Um, and yeah, as Ty said as well, he, he's now playing with Brendan, uh, the Outrider Commander. It's one of the Kickstarter, and he will soon be available through Stark Heroes 3. Yeah. Uh, and I play with Mame Jamie, also from the Kickstarter, but he will be available uh, through Star or Lannister Hero 3. Uh, but since we want to showcase some of the miniatures that you don't see that often in battle reports, yep. uh, to put these down today and have some fun with them. So, all right, so we can first then draw the cards. Uh, you can draw three at ice. I can draw yep. four due to a Tyrion. Uh, your NCUs, by the way, uh, w which ones did you brought with you as well? Uh, so with Sansa and, uh, and, and her mother. Yeah. Catelyn. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, so uh, well, you can first see through your cards and then you can decide who becomes the first player, man. Um, I think I want you to be uh, the first player. Okay, cool. So we give you the token. Yep. This is uh, also because uh, from the second round you get to play your mission cards, right? Yeah. So I want to be a bit more on the initiative when the, the actual points uh, come into play. Yeah. 
So that's actually the reason why I want to so, be a second player, not because of my bad hand or something. Um, well, there's of course the possibility, but also you have more activations. You've got, uh, yeah. we, we both have seven. So I will. Uh, but now since I'm the first player, I will be also finished first in this round, yeah. which gives you a good, uh, uh, well, a good opportunity to see where you want to end with certain units. So that's from turn two on, you can start making the aggressive move so to say so this is actually a really good one as well uh, and as well i'm not moving that fast so i can't set myself up quite well in comparison to your units no. since most of your units are moving five or six or anything like it so all right good luck have fun man let's uh let's go um all right so first for your cards uh, um, do you have any start of round cards nope. all right uh i've got a start of any turn card uh, I will play a Lannister pays his debts on Tywin. Uh, this card uh, is going to be activated when a unit of mine has been killed. It gets a token. Mm -hmm. And when I have this token, if they make an attack action, they become uh, vicious. Okay. However, since they're already vicious, it's not that important. But if, they, if I have the crown, they get a plus one to hit. So these are going to hit on three plus now. Which can be really cool. And that's only this round? or uh, No, when I have a token on them. Uh, so first, one of my units need to die. And then I still also need to have the zone uh, okay. when I have the token. Makes sense. So, Makes uh, sense. Okay, so I will start with um, Tyrion. I'm going to activate him. Mm -hmm. And I will go, I'm going to put him on the letters. Uh, uh, I also want to claim the letters because it's a very good tactic. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we, yeah, we need to have those, uh, those cards indeed. So I'm gonna, well. gonna draw two more cards and I can ditch out the token. Uh, so I'm gonna give Brynden Tully uh, a weakened token. Weakened, right? Yeah, so those, those are the swords. Uh, right? Yeah, it's. All right, and then it's back to you. Okay, okay. Very exciting. Uh, I'm gonna claim the. Uh, let me see. I also have to. Yeah. So before you claim a zone, you always need to say because I've got some cards that can take abilities away from characters. Yeah. So always say if, in case against Lannisters, like I'm want to activate Sansa. Yeah. Then I have the opportunity to maybe play a card. Good on advice. That. I would like to activate uh, Sansa. Okay. Well, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, put her on the horses. Horses. Yeah. So I'm so gonna move my outriders. Yeah. Free maneuver. So let me see how much they move. Uh, and they're going quite fast, man. These days. Six. Yeah. Pop, 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 pop. And they can also make a pivot at the end of start if you want to. Yeah. But they're done. So yeah, they're done. Yeah. Okay, not gonna move anything. Check, check. Right. That's it. Okay. Cool. Uh, all right. Uh, in this case, I would like to. Um, see, because you still have Caitlin. I would like to activate Grand Maester Pycelle. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I will put him on the money bags. Uh, and, well, I can't heal anything. However, um, I'm going to replace the zone for a cool Ooh. card for Lannisters. I'm gonna use Bribery. Uh, and this card will stay on your unit as long, uh, what is it? Uh, as long as you fail panic test. However, if you make a panic test, then the card disappears. And the card does, you can always attack on your lowest attack dice. Okay. So. Which unit do you want me to? Uh, uh, on the archers. So they're gonna shoot on their lowest rank. Okay. And you can ditch it out when you make a panic test or when you claim the money bags in okay. the round. Then the card disappears. That's fine. Uh, and also, Grand Maze Spicel has a second ability, his own ability. I can make a unit weaken. Uh, and I would like to make... Um, Weakened, right? Yeah. Also uh, the purple one. Yeah, also the purple one. That's, that's because of his... He's the Grand mm -hmm. Maester. And I would like to give the Stark Sworn Swords uh, weaken. Uh, so, oh, sorry, the outriders. outriders. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, my bad. Still need to get adjust to those. Also, a long time since you played Starks against uh, Starks. Well, uh, played against them quite a few times, but still, it's really hard. It's the same with uh, 
Night's Watch, uh, Ranger Trackers, Ranger Hunters, uh, Rangers whatever. So, uh, yeah, so back to you, man. Okay. Um, I'm going to activate the... Um, yeah, that's a tough call. Um, I think I'm going to activate, activate, activate the... Tup, tup. Uh, Brindon's unit. Yeah, cool. They actually move. They don't have the cavalry. Yes, yeah, they, I yes can they do have. Uh, one maneuver action at the beginning of my turn. Yeah. So I'll start with that. And they move five, a yeah. bit slower. Yeah. That's okay. Still, uh, still cavalry, so they can go wherever they want. They're still not moving four in comparison to Brevian uh, cavalry. Um. And then you can still turn if you want to. And then you can make another maneuver or you can make a march if you want to. Yeah, march is double, right? Double, yeah. And I can't go here, so I'll just do a normal. Normal five. Okay. Also, paint up my activation. Yeah. Markers. So really nice ones. Yeah. Behind here, so also for the camera to see. If I put them like this, you can't really see them, so I'll put them sideways. So I will probably back. do automatically this, guys, but mine are not painted. And that's that unit. Cool. Nice. And also don't forget, uh, Thijs, that every unit within 6 inch gives mm -hmm. a plus one on their morale because of the Tully uh, and Bolden uh, rule. So that's a special rule from them. Oh, All yeah. your units. That's right. So it's like a moving... Uh, yeah, moving morale bubble. So mm -hmm. the corpse piles you can ignore, so to say. And Brynden had his ability that you could uh, keep him off the board so that he could outflank. No, it's different now. Oh, he's different now. It's okay. a sentinel order. Ooh. This unit performs one. Uh, after another unit in long range is attacked, this yeah. unit performs one charge and maneuver action. If charging, it must target that attacker. Yeah. And also, elusive escape. This unit may reroll any retreat dice distance. Enemies with uh, uh, enemies this unit disengaged from may not pivot and become weakened. Oof. Funky, mate. Funky. That's nice. So, uh, but that's yeah, so, so this is actually sort of some sort of bubble that you. Yeah. So, uh, be aware where they end, so to say. Sure. So you can try and negate the, the corpse piles or some of my other shenanigans. Uh, cool. In that case, I will activate the flayed man this round. Um, since your next player, it's going to be quite some tricky. So what I will do is I will move him up with a free maneuver mm -hmm. and go and stand within one inch of this uh, terrain piece. Yeah. And as a second action, I will destroy this to make some more open space that I can... Okay. Uh, I can do something. Uh, as I said, guys, I'm gonna try to put the band like so, uh, but mine are not painted, so if I forget it, my bad. <laughs> uh, back to you. Um, yeah. Mm. Let me see, let me see. Mm, I'm actually going to um, march up this unit. Okay, so you're going to activate, activate those guys. Yep. Yeah. Those guys. Uh, march, that's actually just straightforward, right? Yeah, but you're going to first do your free maneuver. Oh, yeah. That's the cavalry unit. So, maneuver. yeah. So, I first go six. Yep. And they, those are going really freaking fast. And then they can march. Yeah, if you want to. And that's a straight line. And can I go a little bit shorter for marching? Yeah, yeah. You, you can. You can move up the maximum for a march. You can yeah. also... How much do they walk? Uh, they move four. So with a the charge, they can do a maximum of ten. So they can go up to... So if you stay yeah. behind the dice, that's that's the threat range I can go to. Sure. And then I'll just... Well, I can fully go up here. Yeah. Like this. Yeah, just to... Yeah, you now move a bit token, but that's fine. Oh, so yeah. Doesn't matter. Uh, I had an uh, activation. Yeah. And then this man said he has no experience, staying exactly. That's out my of warm the and fancy experience, so you. Okay. It has nothing to do with. Uh, fair enough. Fair I'm enough. I'm very good at uh, mat rocks. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna activate these boys, and I'm going to maneuver up, and I'm going slightly pivoting like this. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to protect my. Uh, 
my side for from my fleet man so these can't attack and these boys move six inch upwards if they want to but if they really want to charge then you still need to uh, it will still be a front one and for Brynden there is no room uh... if I move it like so they need to stand 50 and there is then a possibility but then you stand completely right over there for fleet man to charge yeah, so sure. I think this is uh, it's the best I can do man okay cool okay. here um, we go I want to uh, activate Caitlyn go ahead be my guest and um, then I want to claim the swords <laughs> uh, when a friendly NCU claims a zone assault orders assault orders yes yes um, shenanigans mate shenanigans <sighs> then I want to do that combat unit may perform one charge action instead yeah I will target the outriders yeah and when a friendly unit is performing a charge action before rolling charge distance I'd like to play devastating impact mm -hmm. uh, when a friendly unit is performing a charge action before rolling charge di distance dies enemies successfully charged by the units become panicked and vulnerable if you control the horses which you do, which you do uh, this unit may reroll any charge distance dice. Okay, so first let's see. Because first you can make a pivot to make mm -hmm. the distance as short as possible so that we can see how far it would be towards you, towards me. I have to measure as well. I have to make sure. Yeah, go ahead. You can. You. No, I believe you. How much is it? I think it's an eight, the shortest, the shortest way. So it's a bit further than seven, yeah, so it becomes eight. an eight. They move six, so that's a two up for you to go and in. And I can reroll? Yeah, however, when you play this one, I need to think for one moment if I want to use Tyrion's one once per game ability sure. to draw me uh, my counter plot and try to prevent this card because this combination can be really devastating. And since you're first player next round as well, it can be uh, quite quite some pickle. Uh, but we're gonna play the game, man. So I will not react onto this. So you can do your charge once. So these are now both played. So let's keep those here. Yeah. Well, we said we needed two, so let's go, Thijs. Um, so we've got three. Fine. Okay, so then you go come in. I will and then place myself 50-50. Yeah, okay, correct. And then what do I become? Vulnerable and panic, you said, Vulnerable right? Vulnerable and panicked. Okay, so reroll my... Uh, what is the armor saves? And reroll my uh, morale. That's a, a bugger. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, cool. And the other card, Assault Wars, did something else as well? Yeah, that was changing the effect of... Uh, okay, so it's only pure the charge action. Yeah, okay, so that was cool. the NCU claims a zone. Cool. Then you can actually change it to uh, horses, sort of. Yeah. So you make a uh, maneuver action. Yeah. But because I claim the swords, swords I can do a charge yeah. action instead. Cool. All right. Now, then we're going to see how much... Uh, or you're going to have... Do you have another? I have another card. I'm thinking about using it. Ooh. So... Uh, All these combos here, guys. All these combos. Do I lose in one turn a unit of uh, guardsmen? Mm. I believe in the dice. No, I'm actually just gonna play. Okay, cool. So, how much dice do we have, sir? Yeah, first, I'm gonna see. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I have really crime, but I don't have anything to heal. Yeah. Um, Actually, uh, um, nothing special. I have seven attacks on a four plus. Okay. Nothing. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to help you here. One, one thing, mate. Mm -hmm. When you activate your NCU, you decide if you first do the zone and the cards or you first do your uh, NCU and his ability, so the influence ability. Yeah. So since Caitlyn is always let you hit on her full rank dice, that removes the condition token. Okay, yeah. You can first take this one off, which yeah. means that you're not weaken anymore when you go to attack, and oh, there's a potential great. that you do more damage in this case. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah? yeah. So, so I influence... You influence uh, them then. Yeah, I don't have a I don't have a card for Caitlyn. Okay. Uh, but I will use my neutral dice as influence for. Okay. Caitlyn. So or what we can also do, what men, most people do, 
for one moment is just set her there oh, for yeah, that's as an uh, influenza or what. But this is then before you do that, so oh, yeah. then you're not weakened. So mm -hmm. the, the impact damage will probably more be more than before, sure. you know. So uh, as, as advice. Thank you. So, no worries. Thank Go you, ahead. friendly player. Yes. Uh, so hitting on? Force. Force. Okay, let's go. Okay. Jesus. With reroll. So if you were weakened, this is already a bad start then, you know? Hmm? Yeah. This was already a bad start. Because yeah, now, yeah, if you if you would have still been weakened, yeah. you could have rerolled these four as well. Yeah, there See? was a pretty bad roll, but yeah. uh, it's a four... Uh... Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a bit of average. You don't have anything of sundering or anything like it, Thijs, right? No, it's just a normal... Yeah. Uh, let me see... Um, yeah. No, actually Okay, not. cool. So, uh, Guardsman have a 3 plus save. So let's roll, see. I feel 1 at the moment. Yeah, However, can. I am vulnerable. So yeah, do you want like me to reroll? Uh, the, the vulnerable token. Yes, okay. So we're gonna reroll these. We feel 3 now. So that means cool. three guys will go down. Oh yay. <coughs> Stuck with super glue. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, then we're gonna do a morale check. So let's see. We're outside the corpse spell, so luckily it's not a mm -hmm. minus one extra. However, guardsmen are pretty crap. Uh, so there are seven. So let's see if we can make that. We fail with three more. So, <laughs> okay, this is uh, this is bad. However, Thais, mm -hmm. I am after an attack. I'm Play still... my card. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, the the Lannister supremacy one. Oh yeah. So now you need to take a morale check as well. With, I've got two ranks, so that means minus two. Mm -hmm. And since you're in base contact with me, I give you another minus one with the salt veteran. So you have minus three currently. Okay. Um, and you take then also three more damage on your D3 if you fail, mate. So. Um, let me see. I have morale six plus. Yeah, so it becomes a nine now then. Also minus one from the course file? Yeah, so that becomes a ten. Ten. <laughs> and everything that you fill in your... Uh, thingy will become extra. Plus three. Uh, yeah, because you get plus one from him yeah, and plus sure. one for everything. Do I get some from Brynden? Um, uh, I think he's too far, unfortunately, man. Um, he doesn't have that on his card, by the way. That plus one bubble. Oh, uh, that's all for yeah. the cavalry, yeah. Uh, short it's range. Short range, yeah. Uh, they're definitely not in short range. Yeah. So let me see. Ten plus. Nope. No. Which so means now then... Five damage. Five damage. So one is dead. Yep. And they get a couple yeah. wounds. Well, two wounds, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. And then I will play, in this case, now a card. We'll play Fealty to the Crown. For everything that you failed, yeah. I can heal our wounds to the maximum of three. Okay. And I can heal one more if I had the crown. But you don't have the crown. No. So in this case, I can only heal okay. three back up again. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Okay. And then that's it. Sure. Okay, and then that's resolved. All right, so both got some damage. Uh, you got some more damage, however, fortunately. Yeah, but you had but, to... Uh, uh, I needed to play a few cards and his durability and everything, so that's... Uh, that you was... used your order, so the order's out yeah. of the way, and you also still panicked. Yeah, I'm still panicked, yeah. So Absolutely. Good result. Yeah. Awesome, uh, cool. So I'm going to activate the High Sparrow, mate. Nothing to do. Uh, and he's going to claim the crown. Um, I also don't have currently uh, the card for the High Sparrow here, so I'm going to influence you here as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and I will let this unit do a uh, panic test uh, with minus one, mm -hmm. minus two, minus three. And everything you fill, his ability will let me heal a unit within long range from that unit. Sure. So minus three. So that's a nine. A nine. -er. That's yeah. a nine, mate. So that's nothing nine. going on. Yeah. I will put him back on the thingy, but he's just like... Too bad, so sad. Yeah. yeah, because there was also another three, so that would have taken me completely back up ranks. Mm -hmm. All right, so back to you. All righty. All righty, Marty. Um, 
Could you please check the card Northern Ferocity for me? Because I, I Northern I, Ferocity. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, I we, there's a new FHQ, but I scribbled down on my on card. your card. Well, yeah. you can also see it in your app if you yeah, but then I have choose to a beast. Okay. Not really cool. No, no, you can do it on top. See, see tactics deck, and then you oh, see right. all, all his cards. And uh, that's a good one. Yeah. Thanks. It's in the same one. So, well, which one was you said? Not yeah, the I, I'm reading them right now. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, they did this really well. So, Carlo, Mickey from uh, Song of Ice Fire Stats, thank you, man. This is amazing. This helps us quite a lot. Cool. I am going to activate this unit. Uh, yes. Uh, go ahead, sir. Thank you. I'm going to march. Okay. So, they're going to be. Sitting. You cannot end. Hmm? Oh yes, yeah. Now you go next to it. Sorry. They yeah, were, you're right. Yeah, yeah. I didn't pivot any of these, so they should be. Yeah. Next to there. Yeah. Not a ten inch, mate. <laughs> Lightning fast. Okay. I will activate my guardsman over here. So. What are you gonna do? Crawl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, uh, shot fired. Oh, I come from King's Landing, so. Um, come from the land down and. Uh, <laughs> exactly. I will also. March up, but instead of going eight, I will go six. Six E. And I will slowly. No, I will, I will stay like so. Yeah, just normally. Okay, back to you. Um, this bribery that stays on there forever? As long as you're, if you're claiming money bags or you made a panic check, then it removes from, uh, it goes off. Okay. So. There's nothing really to claim at the moment. I'm just going to. I will also put that one over here. Maybe I'm just gonna fully move. I think they move six, right? Uh, the archers. I think it's five, but. Five. Cool. And now we'll just uh, march them up to the. Yeah. To this thing. Okie dokie. Stay behind there. Chippy chippy bastards. Okay. Coco. So then I've got my last unit as activation. Well, when he activates, Tywin can ditch out a weakened token uh, within 12 inch. So no one's uh -oh. there, so he can't do anything. Um, so I will march him as well. He goes towards eight. And he will pivot slightly, like so. Cool. And then you can finish up, uh, Dice. Mm -hmm. I think these will march, but they won't go as far. They go eight. Okay, they go eight. Yeah, cool. Awesome. All right, man. Then we're done. Yeah. So we're gonna clean up. So first, just I always do first the NCUs and the banners. Let's go. And then we do this one to turn two. We will put this one towards you, and then the banners. Put them in the middle here, so they're close to the desk. Okay, sure. And the banners. Go. Yes, yes. And then it's up to me first. Do I want to throw away some cards? Yes or no? Uh, hmm. Let's see. Um, oof. I think I want to keep my cards, so I will draw one more extra since I've got Tyrion. Do you want to throw your one card away? Nope. Nice. Okay. Nope. Then you can uh, draw up to two. two. Yeah. And then we're going to start with, before we do anything, these coolies. Oh, yeah. We can pick one, right? Both. Yeah. Now we can pick one and decide, hmm, what do we want to do? Uh, so you go first. Mm -hmm. I would like to do this one. So again, in the mission, it says like the first player lays down and reveals it mm -hmm. we decided to put them both down locked uh, to get more randomness out of there so then you guys already know that when you're watching this video yeah. mm. there aren't a lot of points to score I guess Let's read up to you, man. I don't know. Yeah? Yeah, we both put it okay, on Okay, let's go. 
I've got the number. If your opponent claims a zone on the tactics board, I've got the same. You've got the same. <laughs> okay, so which means, for those that didn't play the Winds of Winter yet, if now one of us claims a zone before the other a one zone, on, yeah. on the board, yeah. it doesn't give one point, but two points. So, okay, so let's lay this one over here, Thijs, since we're not going there. I'm very happy that I have more combat units here. Yeah, <laughs> because that, that means that I will probably need to go first. Does, yeah, if I just play combat units, you will you have to go first. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I also will put down the order token away because now I can use Land Supremacy again this round. Okay, so um, yeah, you can activate first. What do you want to do? Yeah. Oof. See, so th this is what I think a lot more fun because you... Otherwise, you can always counter a bit on the, on the small cards. Yeah, that, that's... So this... Uh, that's pretty cool. Or at least this is how most people where I play with online uh, against, uh, you know, TTS. There's much more randomness on there. Um, no, senor. Huh? <laughs> no, senor. Don't want to shoot at Bo. Can I charge that? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, you always first pivot. And then yeah. from the shortest angle from there, you go one straight line. Yeah, it's a bit However, funny. if you go through this one, mm -hmm. you don't get re-rolls when you're charged, yeah. guys. Unless you have a card that says, hey, you can ignore that. Let me just check the Glory Seeker. If he also... He doesn't do himself. Sorry. No. <laughs> Too bad, so sad. That's why I play two in them in my Barathean for So that I can problem. heal each other. I am going to activate the... Uh, Those... Yeah, uh, still yeah. That extra rank. So... Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I'm also going to play a card. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Which card are you going to play? Um... Uh, I'm going to play Northern Frosty. Okay. So you just become against fishes. Against fishes. Because I don't have the one rank. Uh, yeah. But I don't want to. Uh... Yeah, but with panic on there, you can damage me quite quite a lot. Yeah. So that's gonna be a tricky one. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything against it, mate. So, do you want to swap? By the way, with your, do you want to may go maybe go to hundred no. or to fifth to the other side or? No. No. no okay. I'm okay. All right, so you still have uh, your two ranks. I'm just gonna check if they have something special. Yeah, I think when you charge me in the side, uh, I become panicked and, uh, or what is it, panicked and weaken if I'm correct. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, gonna roll. I roll the dice. Let's go. Seven on the four plus. Yep, yep. Oh, that's actually no, okay. Yeah. okay. Three. Three, okay. Could be worse, could be better. Yep. So, let's hope I can make them all, because then I automatically make my panic check. So all three pluses, come on! Yeah. Of course, I feel one. <laughs> yeah. Of course, nice. Okay, uh, so. so now I need to do a panic check with minus two, due to yeah. vicious. Uh, so now they have a nine, and I'm still panicked. So, that's a seven. Uh, would you like me to reroll the d3 maybe? Or is two enough for you? Um, yeah, two is enough for me. Okay. That's so, above average, yeah, so that's indeed. okay yeah. for me. Okay. Awesome. Now the question is, do I want to try and use Lannister Supremacy again to try and beat you down even further? Remove this one. Um, or let me see. Oh no, the on only the attacking fishes. So yeah. just that's done. Um, yeah, Thijs, I'm, I'm, I think I want to try it. So um, you can make another check then, minus one, two, plus another minus one, so minus three, and minus four. So a uh, ten again. A ten again, yeah. No. No, which means now that you get six, uh, one, two. Yeah, six. No, yeah, so six damage you get. Woof. So one one um, wound stands. Oof. Yeah. That's a, that's a really nice one. Um, yeah. Do you want to play card room? Well, I can't. <laughs> so that sucks. That that was uh, that was pretty hard, man. Uh, okay, but they're now done. Do I want to try and just hit them and? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. So I'm gonna activate my guardsman. They're not fantastic to hit, but let's see. They will see. probably do it. 
Yeah, yeah, there's just one wound standing over there, so... Uh, They're really hard, the guardsmen, so far. Like uh, yeah, but it's because of the bubbles and everything. I yeah. it, it, we, we rolled randomly, and I had some really good luck that I had two corpse spells laying there. Um, so, um, they hit on five dice on the second rank, if I'm correct. It's six, six on the on the first, so let me double check. Yeah, five. And then on a four plus, so they're not great because they're guardsmen, they hit with no rerolls whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Come on. Okay, two saves, nothing special. So just, uh, what's four the plus? save? Two four plus? Two okay. four plus. Oof. Ah, ah one more wound. Ah, so sad. Damn it. All right. That's, uh, that's too bad, man. If they would have made it, I would have uh, been able to retreat because of their order. Yeah. So this gives me one VP. And they can make an action. Uh, so I need to be careful retreat, now. Retreat, right? Or no, no, I can, I can just do a normal maneuver. How and what. So. Uh, so I can put them like so. And see what uh, Thijs is going to do over there. Or I can go... And try to do something with your objective, but since Thais is moving f uh, faster, and I don't have my order anymore, there's a big fat chance I'm uh, not going to do anything. So I will move them slightly, like so, and then move them like so. So they're pretty far away, right? There, yeah. yeah, but you can do first do your free maneuver, of mm -hmm. course, don't worry. Uh, okay, and well, that's it, man. Okay, okay. That's, uh, yeah, was, uh, I can't complain now, what? That's pretty good. Um, do you have a start of, of any turn uh, card, Thijs? Otherwise, I would like to play a card. Uh, yeah, I also have a stand, uh, start of any turn card. Okay, would you like to play that one, yes or no? Um, Otherwise, I, I will actually do want to do that okay then you can because you're the active player you can do that then now first um, um, if i shift can i do like sideways and forward or how does a I shift is forward sideways or backwards okay but with no pivoting, pivoting. in there yeah okay then i don't want to do it okay uh, I will play my second Lannister Supremacy or my Lannister Paces Depths on the Flayed Man. Mm -hmm. So what do, does it do there? Uh, if you kill one of my units, they get the token. And when I have the crown, they get fishes. But Flayed Man also already have fishes. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also get plus one to hit. So they, okay. if I have the crown, they can hit on two pluses instead of... Uh, okay, okay. On what? So, okay. So to you. That was actually your... No, that was uh, in uh, this. I can do this at the start oh, of any turn. So, okay. yeah. Check. Um. I'm actually going to move. Actually, going to. Can I pivot through my own unit? Or? Yeah, you can pivot through your own unit and then move away. As long as you don't end in a unit. Okay, I'm just gonna put this a little bit to the side. And then they move six. And then like that. This okay. One is over here. Yeah, you can always pivot through your unit, and pivoting and moving is is part of the same maneuverability. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, this one has been activated. Okay. It seems that no one wants to go on that tactics board. Oh, that's two, two victory points. You know how much two victory points are? That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's a lot of uh, juice. <laughs> that's a lot of bombers. Um, but we're now equal on the board again. So that's... Yeah, but not for this round. Because I already activated that one. So I'm still... You're still first. Yeah, yeah, you're and, right. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter that you killed because it was already activated. Well, I'm quite happy I still killed them more, by the way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. I'm not in range of anything. I'm going to activate my Guardsman. Because I don't think they're going to do anything this round yet. And they are going to move... Or they're going to march up. So they're going to move another six. And they go slowly 
turn towards the Stark Sworn Swords, that if you want to charge those guys, you need to go through the Corpse Spell, which doesn't give you then re-rolls. Yeah. So, like so. And then they're activated. Cool, cool. All right, back to you. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to... Mm. You're going to activate them? Yeah. Then I would like to play a card. Okay. If, if you play a card, I will activate, or I will use this card, Broken Resolve from Tywin. As long as you stay weakened with them, you get minus two on all morale checks. And a panic test is also a morale check. Sure. So... Yeah, move up, I guess. Mm -hmm. Uh, I can actually... Mm, like this. How much is that? They also move four at ice, so... Hmm? They also move four, so the maximum they will go is ten. Yeah, I will put them like this. But the flayed men, they can move five yeah, and then... Sure. Yeah, you're sure? Okay. Sure. Okay. Juicy. Dun, dun, dun. Juicy, juicy, juicy. Uh, okay, I am going to use Tyrion. But Tyrion is going to forgo his action. You can still go do that as well. Is that possible? That's, that's still possible, yeah. So you can activate them. Uh, and back in the day, if the board is full, you could still activate them and then forgo. Mm -hmm. But now if the board is full, your NCUs can't be activated anymore. However, if we don't, if there's still zones available on the board, you can activate them and say, I forgo. Okay. So in this case, I will not stand on the board with Tyrion. Cool. Um, I will actually, start mm -hmm. of any turn, use swift reposition. Cool. Yeah. And I re reposition these guys yeah and then i'll try to charge them i think you can move an inch further because it's, you can use three right no, two, but if i control oh, the three the if the horses. horses yeah check so okay pivot right and see what uh, you go in a straight line ties oh, so like the charge yeah so y you just go to a straight line so then you will clip it here as first okay so just see how much it is that is actually no, it's a nine. It's a nine. And they move five, so it's a four up. Do you think you're lucky, punk? <laughs> yeah. I yeah? can try, right? You can absolutely try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Ooh, these, these Stark dice are hot today. Jeez. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want to stand like that? Or you want to... No, like this. Yeah. Okay. So you still get the minus for the thing you put uh, down for me. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. So it became your own trap. Sorry, buddy. Yep. No, that's a good thing. Uh, um, let me see. Do you have critical blow? Um, so the unit has critical blow. If this unit has one or more destroyed ranks, doesn't happen. Two destroyed ranks, uh, all not in place. So just seven dice on four plus. Yeah. Was Wait one moment. Mm -hmm. Before you're going to do an attack action, yeah. you've got horrific visage. So you need to make a panic test with minus one for each of my un my ranks. So you've got a minus three and the corpse spells a minus four, bud. That's okay. Okay. So that's uh, six, so it's a 10 plus. Yeah. Nope. Okay, so you take, if I'm correct, one damage because it doesn't stack up with that. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just one, uh, one damage. Okay. What's critical blow again? 
Uh, every six to hit, he rolls double the hit. Double, okay. Yeah. And I have rerolls. So, yeah, uh, absolutely. Four plus. Yep, yep, yep. Oof, do you want to? <laughs> I'm just gonna reroll. Uh, yeah. So that's six. One yeah, six. Six hits. Okay. Oh. Six. Uh, anything special? Nope. No sundering, stuff like that. No, just uh, regular. Okay, so uh, Bolt and Blackguard are three plus as well, like Guardsmen. Mm -hmm. Three up. Uh, one. That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty... Uh... Uh, then a Panic Test. I have minus one as well, because I'm yeah. in the Corpse Pile. And Blackguard are six, if I'm correct. So that means I need to roll seven. Double check. It's a six, so I need to roll seven here, mate. Ah, uh, that's doable. Nope, not, not a two more. Okay. However, I don't. I think you know how, what time it is. Because uh, Lannister supremacy time. Because Tywin yeah. gives Lannister supremacy as well. So it's minus one, two, three ranks. Four. Four. So it's minus four, so and then plus ten. three on your D three. Again. So 10 again. Yeah. Fill, so four. you take four more damage. That's actually not bad for Sworn Force because they get better when they yeah. hit. Which I need to use it anyway. So <laughs> uh, and these are not hitting anything, man. <laughs> they're, they're, they're really Yeah, shy. but this is good for me. Yeah, yeah. Now I get plus one to hit. Yeah. Yeah, for every rank, right? Yeah. So uh, they, so they have next. five, but now it's three plus. And then they're activated, right? Oh yes, they are activated. Cool, cool. So put this one over here. Uh, then I'm going to activate Tywin. I can't see your unit anymore. However, he's using his other order, uh, Threaten. So they become Weaken. So the purpley one. Mm -hmm. Put those here. And he, that was his other order. So he's now done for this round. And he's going to make some attacks. He has six attacks on four plus. So just like Guardsman oh. and everything, uh, nothing further special. And since you stand like this, I can't pivot to any. No. So that's a, that's a bummer. So hitting on fours. Okay, three. I take it. Three on your normal save. Normal save? Yep, yep. It's a four plus? Yep, yep. Oof, nice. Just uh, one. Extra casualty. Yep. And, and then, then uh, uh, panic test with minus two because I've got fishes mm -hmm. and then minus egg, what's minus three. So that's a nine. Yes. Nope. Okay, so one more. And then I'm. They go down hard, man. <laughs> then I'm activated as well. Okay, okay. Cool. Yeah, back to you. And you have my flayed man and uh, Pycelle and. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and you don't want to use the money bag, mate. <laughs> no, no. I will not use a Z money bag. No? Okay. Okay. They're not in long range yet. They will be. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure if it's helping you right now, the, the uh, palisade. No, I actually have to move out a bit. So yeah. I'm just going to move them. Yeah. So they will... Move five. Five, so they're actually uh, yeah. pivot. Yeah. Yeah, and the problem is, and then luckily they changed this, you couldn't pivot either over the palisade. Mm. So now when you were so close in the yeah. old one, you couldn't pivot over it. Over it. You now do this automatically, but actually you first need to pivot, move, and then pivot uh, back again. Yeah. So this one should have been illegal in the first uh, edition. Cool. And now you can do this, luckily. Uh, okay, nice. So they are activated as well. Yeah, put the little thing next to it. So uh, a free game for you. I am. I think, Thais, that mm -hmm. I'm. I am going to do. Uh, I'm going to use the board probably. Okay. So. Um, because now you're in range. Yep. Because you can still shift to inch, so you become. You will be in the twelve. Uh, so you still have one card in hand, so it can be an assault orders then, there's a chance. But 
make your I'm next player and I'm not quite sure if I can yeah you know what I will um... oof yeah I will use the high sparrow mm -hmm. I'm going to activate the high sparrow and I will put him down on the money bags so this means I will give you two points due to the cards yeah. Um, I will put the high sparrow here. So uh, yeah, those uh, tricky boys, and um, I will heal three wounds and a potential and and a token. Uh, and I think I'm gonna do it here because I'm still afraid that uh, the new rules for Tully Cavalier or Lance units is for uh, each rank with Lance ability you get two extra automatically hits. Mm -hmm. So they, instead of six uh, dice with critical blow, they now do, you roll your six dice yeah, and, and plus, get plus four yeah. automatically. So there's a big chance that you can, uh, so I will heal three here and we'll heal away my uh, panic token because, yeah, panic is still uh, sucks <laughs> for sure. uh, for me. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yep, yep. So he's standing on the, the money bags, guys. That's where, where, where he's standing. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, I'm going to activate uh, Caitlin. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, you can. I'm going to influence uh, them. One, remove the token. Yeah, which that's also yours, means. Right? No, that's yours, yeah. Which also means broken resolve goes off. Yeah. And which zone is she going to claim? I'm going to claim the uh, letters. Yeah. So I can do ditch out the condition token, right? Yeah, you can ditch out the token. So I want them to be vulnerable. Okay, so the shield with arm save. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And two cards, right? Yeah, and two cards, sure. Hmm. <laughs> Let me just wait for a moment to read my cards. Yeah, yeah, no worries. i give you the moment to do this. Huh? And don't forget, guys, that you can uh, use your uh, Sansa ability. Huh? So from your discard pile once when she activates as well. Yeah. If you want to. So if you maybe have a really nice card already in there that you maybe mm -hmm. want to use again, don't forget it. Um, start of any turn. Do you yep, have any yep. cards to start of any turn? Uh, no, sir. I would like to use uh, North Remembers. Yeah, so that's your killing card. And put it on the yeah. Tilly Cavaliers. Nice. Yeah. So uh, uh, target one friendly combat unit and attach this card to them until the end of the game. Yeah. When the friendly infantry or cavalry unit is destroyed, yeah. place one order token on this card. Yeah. While this card has order tokens, as a token, the, uh, the attached unit always attacks using its highest attack die value. And while you control the swords, count is rolling a six for all charge distances. Yeah, that's so like mine, but then with a different ability. Yeah. Cool. All right, awesome sauce, man. Uh, so I'm going to use or activate Pycelle. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put him down on the swords. Uh, so I'm first going to use Pycelle. I'm going to make your uh, your unit again weaken with Pycelle's ability. Okay. And Tywin is going to hit you again for six dice on the four plus. Against the Stark Swan Sword. Sure. One this time. Okay. So one on a four plus? Yes, on a four plus. Yeah. Nothing. Makes it. Okay. So Makes no it. panic. No panic. Bah, too bad. <laughs> okay, back to you. Okay, okay. Um. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to activate... You only have Sansa? Sansa? Yeah. Go ahead, sir. And put her on the... The crown is still open and the horses are still yeah. open. And you don't have anything, right? I only have my flayed men still to activate. Yeah. I'm going to use... Because the high sparrow is technically on mm -hmm. the, the bags.
Um, I'm going to use the uh, crown. Yeah. And uh, do it on uh, the... On Tywin. Yeah, so yeah. minus two. Yeah, so on an eight for him. Aye, aye, aye. He doesn't like that. Yeah, he does. Oh, he actually does. He loves it. Not afraid today, an old man. Okay. All right. Uh, so then I only have uh, my flame men to activate. Yeah. Uh, so they're going to activate first the uh, free maneuver, which is five. Yes, hold up. Yeah. When an enemy ends a maneuver, march or retreat action, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I play right them down so I can charge you now. Yeah. And now I'm going to use Tyrion's ability to draw my counterplot from my yeah, deck and sure. try to prevent to that card to go off. So, uh, grab my counterplot, uh, we'll shuffle my deck. Mm -hmm. You want to cut it? <laughs> you want to cut it? Or? No, that's fine. No? Okay. Um, so, draw one to my hand, try to play, uh, play it right away, and on 3+, plus, I can deny your right sure. by, by attack card. I don't have the crown, no. so I can't reroll this one. So this no. is a really biggie. Oh. It's a six. Ooh. Okay, so that one is uh, going off, not going off, mate. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Uh, Too bad, so sad. Yeah, because now with this movement, how I stand, I can also see those guys. So I'm going to move towards them, and I'm going to make a charge on the Stark Sworn Swords in the side. Mm -hmm. Which is a one, so I can't play any other cards, and no nor rerolls. Re yeah. Like so. That's uh, pretty bad. But it's karma for the. That's the karma. Plot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, you the, only have one counter plot left, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and I can't draw now back. back anymore. No. Yeah. Uh, so there are seven dice. However, they have critical blow. So they, every six that I roll is a double, double one. I have minus one to my armor stage, right? Uh, yeah, side. because I'm in the side. Yeah. Sure. Ooh, so two misses, but two will come back because of the critical yeah. blow. So How it's many? seven. Seven. Yeah. Then, uh, oh. With minus one. Only five plus. Come on. Um, three, so I lose four. Uh, yeah, four. I will probably go down with uh, the panic. Uh, Probably made because it's now minus one from the side. Yeah, so I have to roll eleven or something. Uh, yeah, something like that because it's uh, side minus one. Or visage. Uh, Fisher, so minus two from them. Intimidating presence minus three, and that one is minus four. So it's ten. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. It's yeah, minus minus five. Minus five. Side. Vicious is two, oh, yeah. intimidating presence, and the corpse spell, so minus a five. So eleven. Yeah. No, oh, nope. so, so oh. two two more damage, which have meant so and I couldn't play. My uh, Yeah, you will get a counter. You get a counter on there. And I will get one more VP. So I go also to two. And I can uh, move with these guys in any way I want to. So the question is, since I'm will now become second or first player in the next round. Um, do I want to go for the archers or do I want to go for the Tully Cavalier? Because they can be quite devastating on the uh, charge, especially now with the uh, token on there. Yeah. So, uh, and I will not probably hit that unit in one round. So, um, uh, this one is yours, by the way. So those, that one's gone. They were weakened. Yeah. Um, I will move up this way. So they can make a move. Five. And I need to go a bit more this way to stay with, without one inch of you. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Okie dokie. Massacre, mate. Massacre. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. Okay. Okay. Clean up. Uh, clean up. Yeah. Well, it's not going that great for the for the Starks. The Starks. They uh, are having some problems. We have some technical difficulties. Please stay. Please hold. This one goes away, the mission. Yeah. So, so this we one. Just put, no, this, yeah, one another there. one. Yeah. So uh, should we hold those there? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, so first we're gonna go to turn three. This one goes to me. Choose a mission. Uh, first, do you want to oh, throw yeah. away your card? Otherwise, you can draw up two more. 
Um, no, I'm going to draw two more. Okay, uh, I will not throw anything away, so I'm going to draw two more as well because of Tyrion. All right, cool, cool. And uh, then because we're... I'm now first player, I need to take a new card. Oof. Uh, is this going to happen, yes or no? Hmm. Quite the pickle. Actually, I made a small mistake with grabbing my cards. Uh, what did you do? <laughs> I made some mistakes with the cards, but I will I will do that later. Um, I will try. I think I will go for... Dang it. Yeah, I will try and do this one, Thijs, to make it interesting. Okay, I have to choose... Uh, I really have bad cards, man. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Yeah. I was a bit more cavalry-based uh, uh, card. Okay. I did not think they would actually, regular guardsmen would kill a unit of... I it's with, with the supremacy. Mm -hmm. Something that didn't go well in the other one. Or didn't go well for me in the other one. Yeah. Because uh, someone rolled really good on his morale. Um. <laughs> Just give me a moment, guys. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do something. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, so let's see. I have, at the end of the round, if you control the center objective, you get two points. I have, end of round, for each objective you control on your opponent's side of the battlefield, score one. <sighs> okay. This one will go over this one, right? Yeah. All right, and I will be the first player. So, okay. All right, so uh, I will be the first activation in this round. Um, let's see, what do we have? Cool. Any Star of Turn cards? Uh, I no. don't have any. Do you have any? No. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, all right, guys, then it's going to be a tricky one. Uh, but I will decide to activate my flayed men. Okay. Uh, and honestly, I think I will go for your bowman. I'm going to try to get to your bowman. Sure. So I will activate them. Hold up. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, you can use your order if you want to. Yeah. Five. So that's your mark. Uh yeah, thing, right? it's a free maneuver, so it's a still counts as a maneuver moment. Yeah, I'll use my uh, yeah. order overwatch. Yep, uh, I need to stay one inch away from you, so that's why I'm doing this, by the way. Yeah. Okay, cool, yeah. So, uh, the order overwatch is a Quenicum Warden. After an enemy ends a march or maneuver action in long range and line of sight of this unit, this unit yeah. performs one ranged action on that unit. Um, Our uh, defenders that fail their panic test lose all order abilities until the end of the round and become yeah. weakened. 
Yeah, so I should not feel panic now. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I also have this one, right? Yeah, you still have bribery. So the low stack dice. Yeah, so there's not not good. So four. On a three plus. Yeah. So that's three. Okay. So three on three plus save. I am vulnerable, by the way. Yeah. So uh, make them all right now. Yeah. And I use my vulnerable token. Yeah, absolutely. Smart man. Come on, flayed man. Uh, yeah, oh. shite. Okay, and so they're impossible. Happens again. Um, do you still want to make a two inch shift backwards or uh, sideways or anything? Because um, that is in range attack, so you can uh, pivot backwards or uh, to the towards the side if you want to, or you can stand like how you're standing now. Mm. I want to do two inch uh, backwards. Yeah. Uh, actually. I want to Yeah, I'm gonna go two inch backwards. Okay. Alright. So uh I'm going to try and declare a charge, so need to move so that I I can't charge over the palisade. Mm -hmm. Declare a charge, so it's an auto in. Yeah. Uh, but on a one I can't use cards and stuff like that. Oh, oh uh, no yeah, you didn't get any hits. Shite. No, I I know I didn't make a yeah. Lucky bastard. Oh, here we go. That's a four, so I'm in. Oh, that's uh, uh, the sunshine of the the Bolton uh, <laughs> lands. Yeah. From the other room. Sorry. It's a light from the other room hitting the. Oh, okay, yeah. Shine bright like a diamond. Nice. Okay. Uh, so here we go. Here we go. Uh, seven dice with critical blow again on three with reroll. There we go. And I have a reroll, luckily. So to use that one. Okay, so five. Five and then one critical blow, so it means six of them on your normal save. My normal save is fantastic. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a bowman. Yeah. Nada. Okay. So six deaths. Six boys go down. Uh, okay. Panico. Uh, so let's see. You've got vicious and intimidating presence. So it's minus three. And you get a, a plus one on your thingy. So you can yeah. do some. Uh, see, are they within six of those guys? Nope. Nope. So you don't oh, get. actually. Try, try and see. No, they're just out. Okay, and do you need to see them for embolden? Do you want to no, double it's check? No, short range. Okay, no line of sight because you can't draw on line of sight through palisade. Hmm? You can't if, no. if you need line of sight, you can't get them. You can't see them anyway, probably. One second. Yeah. Just to double check, or guys. The card isn't loading. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. Uh, no, there's short range. Okay, so you're not getting it. Uh, so it's now currently then a minus three, and there are eight. Seven. Will be a tenner. Uh, I will give you Himidor, so I will give you another minus one from the card, and an additional minus one for each rank destroyed. So I give you another minus two. So, so it's minus five, and you get one extra damage as well on your D3. So that's twelve. Yeah. Okay. No. And you get five. Uh, five or four. Uh, uh, five because three from the co the thing, one from intimidating presence, and then one extra from him you are. So okay. five. Okay. Okay. Oof. Alrighty, my. That one stays on on their bribery because yeah. you didn't make a, a check. Okay. That's uh. Yeah, I will move oh, these away. Sorry. Yeah, no worries. Okay. That was uh, quite some good rolls there for me, from, from my side then. Yeah, actually it was. Um, all right. All right. Back to you, sir. Yeah. However, they are activated, by the way, so. 
Mm. Let me just check my deck as well. Mm -hmm. Gonna see one. Um, nom, 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 nom. No, I'm going to activate Caitlyn. Caitlyn. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to influence the them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So remove the token. Yeah. I'm going to claim the horses. Sure. Yeah. I'm going to make a maneuver there. Yeah. I'm just fully claim. Hmm. This one. Dang it. You sure about this, Thais? Yep. Okay. 100% too. Yeah, that's two, two victory points worth. And you gave up your uh, archers. <laughs> <laughs> or it seems that you gave up your archers. Yep. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, I will use Spicel. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use Spicel on the swords. Uh, attack again. Attack and make this unit weaken again because of Picel. Sure. And then uh, we'll use seven dice again with Flayed Man. On trees. Uh, no critical blow uh, because that's only on the charge. Mm -hmm. So four saves. On a six. On a six. Nope. Nope. Okay. So you so, get one VP. Yep. You get your bribery. Uh, yeah, bribery's uh, off. And I got another token on this, but that doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter, no. No, it's just, just one. I have to remember because the North remembers. <laughs> sure, mate. Uh, and I can do a free maneuver. So I will move them backwards towards you. So I'll move five. Stay with outside one inch of your mm -hmm. unit. And that's it, mate. Yep. Whew. Because you're, you're scoring points if you're standing on my objective, yeah. so on my side. Yeah, okay. And my card was the central one, so I need to deal with Brynn in there. Yep. Uh oh. Mm. Pardon? Let me just see where the center objective is. That's right there. So um, it's touching the border of this card. Let me see. So mm -hmm. like this. I'm just going to see if I'm still I'm still claiming, right? Uh, yeah. So if I charge them, I'm still claiming. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. Then you give your flank open for Tywin if you. Yeah. And he has more rank, so he then prevents you of... Of course. Yeah. Of course. So it's really a bit of what, what you want to do, mate. Because I need to have more ranks to stop you mm -hmm. scoring the, the objective. Yeah. But yeah, if you charge, you've got your lance, so you've got more attacks, yeah. So it's really up to... Yeah, just to... Oh, it's a hard decision always. Yeah, mate, and you only have two units left. Mm -hmm. So that's that's also hard. S suck a duck. Yeah. It's not easy. You know what? I have to claim points. So mm -hmm. 
yeah. I'm actually going to activate this unit yeah. and, oh, and maneuver it like this. Uh, yeah. I claim that token. CC. And that one is activated. Cool. I have to do that. Yeah, so I need to try and prevent that of doing anything, which is uh, pretty good though. <laughs> I need to handle with him, so um, yeah. Poof. I will activate these guys, mm -hmm. uh, so I can still see you at the moment. Can you? Uh, we can double check with the. Oh, where's my? No, I lost my lighter. If you. Yeah, maybe. I have my uh, my thingy is not here. My. Uh, Special light. Mm -hmm. I have no clue what light is. Uh, one moment. Okay, so just found my quick line. And as you can see, with those lines, I just see the outside from your yeah, base the there. Point, yeah. So I can then do that. And I need to make it in a straight line. So make, try to make that as short as possible. So that's six. It's a six. So uh, that's a two plus for my guardsman. Sure. Let's go. Good luck. <laughs> oh, oh, make it. oh no 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 no. So okay, so they move five. Um, however, I always need to stay one inch away from you. Uh, yeah. So in this case, um, I will move up to here. However, uh, if I'm correct, for this one. Because it's a field charge, I can come inside that one inch, so to say, because okay. I need to uh, make the full one. That's clear uh, as day. Yeah, yeah, I need. I played this quite a lot wrong, and I got uh, informed online that this was the the, the wrong way. Uh, but yeah, I feel this one, so and I go in a straight line as I how how I was standing. And I need to do a panic test, mate. Minus one. <laughs> With minus one of the corpse file. Oh, and also fail. So two more guys uh, are going down. Nice. nice, and I can't change that anymore. <laughs> so that's that's a big bummer. That's dang it. So you're gonna score that point point anyway, mate. Nice. All right. Okay. Oof. Um. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Classic. Oh, wait, why did I move with my flame man towards you? I could also claim one of yours. Yeah, oh. actually, I was thinking. I was, that's why I moved him backwards. So yeah. It was harder for you to... Yeah. Because oh. then, then you couldn't make that one anymore. It was too far away. If it was here, yeah. you could have still gotten this one. So I switched wow. it back. Just five inch. So I still, still... Yeah, but just to be sure, right? Yeah, so. yeah and that was 100% so true. Yeah, yeah nice one. Yeah, I was now... Uh, didn't thought about that one. Dang it. Um, I'm doubting, doubting. I'm actually gonna play uh, Sansa. Yeah, go ahead. And put it on the letters. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna draw this one. This or this card pile. Yeah. Draw two cards. Yeah. Uh, do you, by the way, want to use her once uh, once she activates? No. no? Okay. Um, and you can dish out the token. So I'm gonna play um, weekend on the Taiwan unit. Taiwan unit, yeah. Classy. Okay. Oh 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 oh. What did you do, boys? <laughs> Uh, dang it. Um, all right. I want to... Use... Oof. Uh, I will use... The high spell on this, 
and we'll put down the high sparrow just like Caitlyn on the unit here. So when they fail a panic test, they I heal that up. Okay. Uh, and I will remove this token on Tywin, and heal three Bolton Blackguard. Sure. Back on this uh, track. Back to you. That's a good one, right? Uh, I hope so. Um. So even if you, because you, you don't have any more NCUs, luckily I can. So let's see what shenanigans you have, dear Stark. I might be able to kill that unit in one turn. Oof. Okay. Bold, bold claim. Mm -hmm. And you score now three points at the moment, so I yeah. need to do something. Yeah, I have to activate uh, the tele unit. Yeah. And I have to do something, so uh, I can stick around, but you will always try to charge me, so that's going to can change. Mm -hmm. I'm going to charge the flame man unit. Yeah. To be okay. The yeah. We just so measured. You, yeah. You just have to roll to see if it's a one or not. Mm -hmm. It's no. not. So you're okay. I'm still claiming the token. Yep, yep. Uh, However, you were weakened though. Oh, I still, sorry, I still have to play some cards. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I want to play uh, Winter's Coming. Yeah, so uh, what does it do extra as well with. Uh, uh, enemies successfully charged by this unit cannot be targeted with friendly orders or tactic cards this turn. Yeah. So you're not. Yeah, can't use anything. Yeah. Um, Nice, nice. And then when a friendly unit is performing melee attack, before rolling attack dice, uh, do they, uh, let me just check one second. No, they're not going to do that. Okay. Because nope. that's. Uh, so just winter is coming. Yeah. Okay. Um, they have sundering. So yep. minus one on the save. Minus one on the save. When it charging, roll plus two attack dice for each remaining rank in this unit. So I get six, so that's ten dice. Yeah. So um, this this is changed because on their card they had critical blow, but now you get ten attacks, yeah. basically. And you're hitting on threes with reroll. So that's ten. Mm -hmm. um, then Brynden Tully. Mm. Yeah, that's nothing special. Okay. I can retreat and then become weakened and reroll the retreat uh, distance. Yeah. But then you move off the objective and you don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, okay, and yeah. And other cards, I think. Let me see. Let me see. No, that's it. Okay. So that's uh, 10 dice on 3 plus rerolls. Yes, sir. I need my rules. <laughs> That's pretty shitty. My attack dice are not really. Uh, no, the stars are not doing to. Uh... Uh, again, That's okay. Not pretty good. So it's still eight. Uh, you can reroll all successes by the weekend token. Sure. Okay. <laughs> so. So luckily, no more crit blow. Six. Six. Okay. Bit with the minus one. Hmm? With, With minus, minus one. one, yeah. So four plus? Four plus then, yeah. And you already used my vulnerable token uh, yeah. with the archers, so four up. Uh, three. Three wounds? Yeah, so one horsey uh, bites Did the it. dust. Okay, yeah. And a morale check with minus one at the moment, or? Mm, yeah, minus one. Because you didn't do vicious or anything, right? No, With no, uh, no, yeah, no. so minus one, so they're on a seven. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Luckily, they made it. I make it. Otherwise, it was yeah. another three damage. Okay. Are you expand my weekend token? Yeah. And they are also activated. activated. Yeah. Activated. So. Um, yeah, uh, I still have my guardsman and Tywin left, and Tyrion. Yeah. So, um, so this is going to be a tricky one. Uh, so first I'm going to use a Tyrion and I'm going to do uh, let you do a panic check here with a minus two, but a plus one from uh, Jamie. Yeah, he gives so you a plus one, so... Uh, 
But they're uh, 6 plus, so they're 5 plus. Uh, 7. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's plus 2 from uh, uh, the corpse and the thingy. Yeah, so it so becomes an 8, and then yeah. minus 1 because seven. of uh, 7. Nope. No, so 2. Okay. Uh, then I've got my guardsmen. Uh, they are, aren't doing that much. I can try and make an attack action, so, uh, but I won't get rerolls. So I'm just gonna try that one. He can't use uh, tactic cards and stuff, right? Sorry. Is that also? Uh, he also can't use tactic cards, or? How do you mean? If you charge a unit like this. Uh, I only don't get the charge uh, rerolls. I can use tactic cards if oh. I want to. But still, I need to roll. Deep shit, a lot. Uh, quite <laughs> a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's an eight, so I need to roll a four now. Yeah, you can do it. Uh, the dice roll a lot better than mine, man. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I first will roll because I don't think it gives me minus one anymore. There wasn't the previous one. So let's see. Come on. Yeah. Okay, six is gonna happen anyway. So I can go on fifty here. And since I'm with three ranks, I will now prevent you not yeah. scoring that one anymore. But you're also not scoring, so that's okay. Six dice. Mm. On fours, no rerolls because I went through the pile. Mm -hmm. so, okay, four, I take it with a minus one. Uh, they're actually pretty good. I think they're three plus or something. Yeah, yeah you're also you're really armored. <laughs> Yeah, the three plus so four plus. Yeah. Oh, dice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we, I think we can conclude that uh, my dice rolls are a bit uh, becoming yeah. a bit uh, down the drain here. Uh, yeah. So I give you uh, a minus one, minus two because of the sight, and a minus three because of intimidating presence. Yeah. But you're giving yourself a plus one, so it's a minus two overall. Minus two, so eight. Yeah. Nope. Uh, so you take one more because of intimidating presence. Uh, so that's a full. This is yeah, it's three. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. Yeah, they both have it, so it doesn't stack. Luckily, but yeah. Um, do you want to play any card further? I have no other cards to play. Okay. Uh, then I still have Tywin. Um, I will. Uh, activate him will make you weaken again because of his uh, mm -hmm. order threaten um, and then I will play his card issue command uh, when your commander unit activates it can forgo his activation and he can choose another unit to activate again for him mm -hmm. uh, to make an attack action or a charge action so I'm going to choose my flayed men since yeah. they're within 12 so they can make another attack on Brynden. And Tywin is then staying there. Seven dice on threes. No critical blow. So uh, that's pretty good. Four with your three plus safe. Yeah, oh, no, no, <laughs> nothing, Not uh, no, no, uh, no problem. Nice. Uh, okay, so that's the end, end of the round. round. Yeah. I score one point. Uh, yeah, because you have that one. And I prevent you, luckily, from not scoring the middle one. Uh, but I couldn't score it either. So uh, it's one point, so we're three versus three. So yeah. we're going to clean up. Clean up? Yep. Haha, <laughs> done. Uh, order tokens, those are st staying with you. Uh, okay. Going to this one. You're becoming first player. Now we have to check our missions again. Uh, yeah, uh, I will keep my two other cards and I will draw two extra. Oh yeah, sure. Um, I'm gonna keep my card. I can no. You can always draw up back to three, but if you have more, it's, yeah, mm -hmm. it really depends on if you have good cards or bad cards. Okay. 
I'm going to discard uh, Ride Down, Marshall, and Winter Smite. Oh, okay, wow. Can I discard them all? You can discard them all, absolutely. You can discard as many cards as you want to. And draw two new cards. Yeah. And I get exactly the same card. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler. Uh, is this one already? That one stays on there. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, Thijs, mm. uh, when you filled here your three, the High Sparrow was on there, so I can heal the three. Still oh. from the... Cool. Since you filled the panic test uh, yeah. there. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, okay, then we start missions. Uh, yeah. It's three versus three. Hmm. Your first player. Do I have a hand? Uh... I will only this one. See if it's possible. Yeah, it's gonna be a really tough cookie for me, man. <laughs> yeah, okay. Just gonna say. Yeah. Um. I do not like this. Doesn't really help me because we can't do mission eleven because we're both on the same point, so it doesn't really do anything. Um, Luckily, because you're almost, but you were first player anyway this round, so. Yeah, but I uh, yeah so but you could cannot can't, can't also play because. Um, Yeah. Yeah. This is the one that uh, doesn't give you the most. Uh, okay, let's see. I've uh, got, uh, I've got at the end of the round for each objective you control score one. Okay. I have uh, um, once this round, when an enemy destroys a friendly combat unit, place two dollar uh, okay, coins yeah. on enemy, remove and score these points when the enemy destroyed. Okay. Yeah. So, even when this one is its card, by the way. So even next round, the next round, next round goes on. Yeah, the, the the money stays on there. Yeah. That's uh, that's yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. That's my uh, turn. Yep, yep, yep. So the first thing I will do, uh, I will activate the cavalry unit. Sure. Um, and I will play right by attack. Ooh. When a friendly cavalry unit selects its action during its activation, before resolving that action, um, I will choose the. Um, I will choose my free action uh, maneuver. Uh, uh, free action is not non-action, so you. So your free action is. Oh, I don't have that action on this one. This one can't maneuver before it. Um, yeah, so free action is, is always something you need to do, a free maneuver. And then you have retreat, attack, or... Yeah. Um, and then you can replace that one by, right by attack. So I'll actually um, do my uh, maneuver action, just a maneuver action. You're ne yes, and you replace that one then for... No, uh, uh, 
Let me see. Unit selects its action before, during its next phase before resolving that action. Yeah. Oh yeah, as its action that unit may pivot yeah. and perform one march even even if it's engaged. So I can pivot and then march. Yeah. Uh, but they can't charge again then, so no. to say. Uh, even if it's engaged, it may move through enemies during this march. Enemies it, engage, it disengages from may not pivot. Yeah, that's because of Brendan Tully. Uh, After completing this march, one enemy it moved to suffers one wound plus one wound of uh, for remaining, each of remaining. that enemy's remaining ranks. Yeah. Okay. So I will uh, pivot and march towards the objective. Yeah, okay. So that's actually 10. Yep. So let me just see. I'm not going to make it all the way. Well, as long as you can put your tray there, then, then it's possible. Yeah, but I can't. Ooh. It's going to be behind here. Yeah. Like this. Yeah, but you need to be one inch away from me, Thijs. Because um, of the normal rules. Okay, then I will... Let me see how I can fix this. Whoa. I can still pivot, right? So. Yeah, yeah, you can. I will just pivot. Because you, 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 the card said you may pivot it's before. True. Yeah. Okay. And then I will move... 10. Are we in between It's going to yeah. be a bit messy, but... Yeah, yeah. Blue. Okay, yeah. And and then you can you can turn again if you want to with your arc and everything. And try to stay one inch away from all my units. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and then you go through this. with your well you yeah. go to, with your yeah. pivot you also go through the flayed men, but I think you wanna go for the Um Which your war unit do you want to damage? I want to damage the flayed men. Yeah, you sure? Because then it takes... Oh yeah, just the rank, because then I lose the rank, right? So, yeah, yeah so just do the full it, rank for... It, yeah, it's a full rank for the guardsman, yeah. yeah. And you also had something special from him, himself, right? Oh yeah. That if you disengage, I will also become weakened, right? Uh, Reroll any repeat distance. Yeah. Enemies that units disengage... Enemies this unit disengages from may not pivot and become weakened. So yeah. that you both become weakened. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, your, your card away said I couldn't uh, uh, no. pivot, but uh, this one uh, is really good, man. So, boop, boop. so you're both weakened? Yeah. Oof. Okay. But it's activated, so I can't really... Yeah. Do shot. Yeah, or you have your uh, Assault Orders card. Hmm? Or you have your Assault Orders card. Assault Orders, I don't have a... Okay. <laughs> well, we'll have to wait and see. Um, all right, That's so I can't, I can't do anything about that. Cool. Um, so I will activate um, the High Sparrow. And I will put down the High Sparrow on the money bags. Mm -hmm. I will put down the High Sparrow on this unit. Sure. Uh, and I will heal uh, three wounds and a token. And I will try and heal those three here. Sure. Okay. And then, as I said, this one is over here. Cool, cool, cool. It's becoming quite messy for the stars. They are blowing through, but I don't know what to do. I don't know shit. It's quite the pickle. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing to do, man. I'm sorry. I ain't got nothing to do. I will activate Caitlin. Okay. And when you activate her, I will play Intrigue and Subterfuge. So she loses her influence ability. So you can't use your highest attack die nor remove a token. And if I have the money bags, one oh. enemy combat unit either side becomes weakened. So that other unit becomes weakened. Oh. What a shame. Uh, but you can still claim his own. Yeah. Um, but you can't influence. Can't influence. Shit. I'm going to claim the letters. Mm-hmm. And I'm also going to make them wicked. Yeah, really good. Uh, one more. Yeah. Everything weekend here on the table. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. I like it. 
that I need to handle with him. <sighs> Gosh dang it. I'm going to use Tyrion. Mm -hmm. Tyrion is going to stand on the horses. And I will move Tywin to here. And they move up four inches this way with the ass towards <laughs> Brynden. Sure. So do you have that card? No. Then I'm destination peep. No. Otherwise, I, I'm quite okay. Because you blocked one and you used one. Sorry? I blocked one and you used one, right? Yeah. But mate. You write them down. They're both here. Yeah, I write them down. But you still mean the assault orders. Uh, assault orders doesn't do anything. You can make a free charge attack, right? If you claim swords. If I claim swords, yes. Yeah, so it's still there. Yeah. And you still, as I said the entire game, you still have your Sansa. Oh, yeah. So when you activate her, you can say, hmm, you know what? I want to draw that one back. I might even do that right now. Yeah. I'm going to activate Sansa. Use my one game do, ability. Do I have my second intrigue and subterfuge? You probably have. No, I don't. <laughs> I'll uh, get assault orders. Yeah. I will uh, claim the thingies, thingies yeah. and also play Assault Orders. Nice! Because I'm well going to try my second counter plot. Yeah, and uh, as you've been rolling all uh, game, you're probably going to make it. Not even going to look to it. Yep. Yeah? Yeah, totally. Oh. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> so... However, and this is the cool thing, mm -hmm. the car doesn't go off. Mm -hmm. So now you can still decide if you want to use... Oh, you still, can you still keep it? No. That oh. one is now played. However, yeah. what does Sansa say these days? Um, each time Sansa claims his own... No, that's... No, it's nothing. Okay. So it's uh, once per game when Sansa activates, you may return one tactics card from your yeah. discard pile to your hand. Yeah. And I played that card. Yeah, because you need to... This is replacing the zone, right? Yeah. That's too bad. Yeah. Otherwise, what I thought was like, I'm going to do this, replace it. So what, since what, what, it's, what, what, since what did you actually stop with counter plot? Uh, the card. So, the you card. Can, you, so you can still use the swords, but I thought when I was blocking the card... Oh, but then I will... Replace it again for the other thingy. Um, then I will use uh, uh, ability yeah. to, um, so I have once per game when Sansa activates, you yeah, that may one is, has been done. yeah, but then you can also, each time Sansa claims a zone, you may yeah. replace that zone's effect, but you return one tactic card from this card to your hand. Yeah. So I can do that again. Yeah. And I think this is still legit. This is, this is allowed. I think so. Yeah, but it's, it's all in sequence, so. Yeah, but it's, since it's both uh, replacing the zone I'm not quite sure if, if I counterplot the card that you still can do then another effect to try and replace the zone that's why I don't know if that's possible yeah I, this one didn't go off yeah so then I use the other one but it's on the same a question for the viewers can yeah. I still use Sansa's ability let's, after let's say, let's say you uh, can do it right now but I think you can't but <laughs> I will write them down. Uh, yeah, pull the back hand. one. Yeah. So we'll play it as well. we can do it right now, but I think you can't because it's on the same trigger moment. And since I block it, you can't do it again or try something else on the same trigger. Oh, yeah. Somewhat. But okay. we'll it's, see. it's what I said for the viewers. I think uh, we're now playing it wrong, but oh well. We'll see, we'll see. But that's why I kept saying all the time, Thijs, you've got your once ability. <laughs> And everything so, so got it. and now you pull away my counterplot and i already use Tyrion, so i can't yeah, you don't get another any, one so no. but you made all your counterplots so yeah absolutely but still there is 
you can do moves now. Mm -hmm. Okay? Not a lot. I can do something. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can do something, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I am going to use Pycelle. Pycelle is going to claim the crown. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't make any units of your weaken anymore because both of them are already weakened. Uh, but I will let this unit make a panic test with minus two and plus one, so it's on a seven again. Yeah, okay. yep, they're good. Made it all the way. Good, good. Good. N nice, nice. Good, good. I am actually... And now they also, since I have the crown, they have a minus one to hit because of Jamie. Because he, start, he starts to nag against everyone. Because of the crown, okay. Yeah, because I claim the crown. I'm just going to check if I can charge you and still be on the objective, but I think... No, I can't claim the objective and charge you. Um, I don't have a lot to do now. Uh, I will activate them. Yeah. And I will actually uh, maneuver them. Mm -hmm. So they're out of range for you to charge me. Yeah, now I can't see them anymore. Really nice, yeah. I have no line of sight on them anymore. Okay, uh, so now I can finish up right. Yeah. So I will put these guys over here. Because I couldn't see Bryn either. Mm -hmm. uh, I will march Tywin towards here and then turn around. Yeah. So that he claims. One. Um. And then the question is, do I want to try and get Brendan off? Or do I want to go for the point? I think I want to go to try and take Brendan off. Um, so that's what I'm going to try. So I will activate the Flayed Man. And move five. And slowly go here. No. Nope. You have to be real precise, because I'm going to charge you when you're done with your free maneuver. Yeah, yeah, you can, yeah. Yeah. So, I will play... Uh, write him down. Yep. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. It actually works quite differently. It performs one charge and... Uh, target, uh, when an enemy ends a maneuver, march or retreat action. That's what you did, march yeah. action. Or for uh, maneuver. maneuver action, yeah. Target one friendly cavalry unit in long range, that's there. Uh, that can cha charge the enemy. It performs one charge action on that enemy. If it successfully charges the enemy instead of performing melee attack, uh, that enemy becomes panicked and suffers two hits for each remaining ranks in this unit. So you get... You, I don't actually attack you, but that's okay. And you can still see me, right? Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Successfully charged. So you're on the objective as well. Um... Then you become panicked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So you're uh, panicked, and then you suffer two hits. Yeah. For each remaining ranks in the unit, so you get two hits. Yeah. Two fail, so two wounds. And uh, these are from an ability, right? Yeah. So I don't need to make a panic test. It's not, uh, it's not coming from an attack. Mm, no, I don't think so. Sure. Instead of performing a melee attack, yeah, yeah. it's on a melee attack. Okay. However, I can still make an attack action with the Flayed Man, though, then. Because they, they activate free maneuver and do an attack action then, since now we're in combat. Yeah. So six, uh, seven dice on threes. I didn't charge, so you, I don't get my uh, bonuses. What? I don't get my critical blow bonuses no. and no rerolls as well. Mm-hmm. So here we go, on a 3 up then. Hit 6 times, however I'm weakened, Thijs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like me to please re use uh, your weakened token. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's 5 now, with no minuses. On 3 plus. Yes, yes. Oof, 3 ones. Okay. It's becoming uh, quite shitty. Okay. Uh, however, now I will play Hemiror mm -hmm. on your panic test. So I am vicious. 
Intimidating presence, so that's minus three. Corpse spell minus four. Yeah. Card is minus five. And you lose another rank, so minus six. However, you're plus one from yourself, so it's minus five. Okay. So I'm actually 11. Okay. And you get four wounds because plus two because uh, of the card yeah. and. Uh, wah, wah. There you go, Stark. There you go. Write them down. You can do it. Okay. And then I will. Does the Lord Remember cards go into my Discord pile now? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. And I get one more point because I kill the unit. Yeah. And these are on here as well. Uh, however, since you're failing a panic test, uh, you uh, also become two. Yeah, yeah. But at first, I will do that. So uh, you failed. Mm -hmm. I yield these two because of the high sparrow that was on there. Yeah. So these are gone. And then this your card makes me two more VP. So you can you put two dollars behind me? Mm -hmm. Two dollars. Two dollars, player. This one is yours. Yeah. Okay. Um. And then I only have the other guardsmen left. They can't do shice. Um, but they will try and help their bro broyos. So forward. <coughs> 12, 8. This way. And they're weakened. And then we're finished, guys. Are we? For this round, right? For this round, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You know? Uh, yeah, so clean up. Done. <laughs> okay. Cool. Cool. All order tokens are gone. Yes. Yeah. Uh, do you want to throw any cards away? Yes or no? I actually do. Okay. Some cavalry cards. Yep. Um. I'm going to keep my card and draw three more. I'm just gonna do winter is coming. Yeah. And ride by attack. Mm hmm. Turn away and draw one new card. Yeah. And then, Thijs, you score one point yeah. because of my uh, control every objective. You and score I score two. two. So I go to six. And I go to four. Yeah. Then we have to perform a new mission card. Yeah. Goes to me. Goes to you. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed that one <laughs> right away. It should be very clear for the people back home. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's Mich see. Probably has something to do with mission 11. <laughs> Is that so? Okay. Uh, so I will take the one that claims letters or swords. And you have, if you're behind, you, sc you score one additional point. So you become, you go to five. I actually get that right away. Yeah, you get it right away, and, and you I become the first player again. The first player. Yeah, and we need to clean these. Does up. that make me first player next round? No, 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 just no, no changes so, the yeah, it keeps changing. Yeah, cool. It gives you now a double turn. Cool. Okay. Cool. cool. Yeah. Cool. Nice man. So, uh, yeah. So, which two uh, are now the forbidden uh, letters? Uh, letters and swords. Okay. So. Madness. Yeah. And even if you, you have been slain quite well, you're still one point behind, you know? That's I, the I'm I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. That's not pretty good, but it could be worse. Yeah. But that's so, I think the cool thing from the scenario. What I so mean. the only thing that, that we can do right now is if you get letters or swords, right? Yeah, then uh, you get a point. So I have to slay that. Um yeah, I actually have to. The only way to win this is if I charge you right away, right? Um. Or yeah, if you you stay there, I will go. I have charge dice rerolls and everything, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I'm also weakened, so my reroll doesn't really help right now. Yeah. However, so you can get that away with or the uh, money bag or with uh, Caitlyn on anything else. Yeah, so I'm gonna start out with Caitlyn. Yeah, you can go ahead. I will remove the token. Yep. And I actually use the crown. 
Yep. And use that unit. Yep. And mm. see if they're in short range. I think they are. <laughs> yes, they are. They are <laughs> very much in short range. So minus two. No, a nine. Oh. So they lose. It's three. Three. No. That was actually very, very good uh, thing yeah. to do. Very good yeah. thing. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Um, so for me, uh, I will use the uh, High Sparrow. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to try and claim the horses. Okay. Uh, that, one's not, that one's not giving anything. I will move my flayed men. They will go over the pile since I will not... I cannot deny that one. Mm -hmm. So, and I will put the High Sparrow down here. Sure. And I will give it back to you. Let me just check where the objective is. So if I charge you, I can actually charge you. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. So I have to do something, of course. Yeah. Um, I will actually, actually, uh, declare a charge with yep. this unit. Activate yeah. the unit of... Yeah, if you do that, I would like you to do something. I will play Subjugation of Power. So when you activate, uh, you may perform a morale test. Uh, mm -hmm. If you fail that one, you cannot be target of tactic cards and you can't use your abilities. Okay. Uh, so you have a minus one and a plus one because of uh, so Jamie. Six. So you flat, yeah. Fine. Okay, yeah. Okay. I actually didn't have to roll the d3, but... No, you didn't know, you didn't, we're not getting damage. Uh, but okay, yeah. Before running charge distance, I'm gonna play Devastating Impact. Yeah, yep. And um, that means that enemy successfully charged by this unit become panicked and vulnerable. Uh, and I, yeah, but I don't have the, the horses, so let's see. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Perfect, good. Can I actually, no, I actually have to do this. Yeah, yeah, it, it moved a little bit, the, the token, but uh, Let's say it's okay, man. Yeah. So, uh, okay. And so you're panicked. panicked and vulnerable. Yeah. You're also successfully charged. Mm -hmm. um, I also want to play uh, Winter's Might. Yep. So also get Sundering. Yep. When oh, I'm really going nice. to attack them. And they actually have seven attacks. Yep, yep. Critical blow. Yep. It's going to hurt quite well because you also have the crown, so you don't get the minus one from Jamie. Nope. So, uh, so seven attacks, rerolls. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Uh, sundering, a critical blow, sixes or double, right? Yeah, so six or double. Come on. I have to do this. I have to make sure. Uh, reroll. Uh, yeah, I actually have to reroll because there yeah, are four yeah. plus. Yeah, yeah. I thought I lost all my bad rolls at the beginning of the game, but. Uh, I think you are rolling now one more, right? Uh, six. Yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Whew. This so four. four. Yeah. This is on a four plus. Yeah, minus now. one. Yeah. Uh, so four plus, and I'm vulnerable. So let's see. Come on. Okay. Yeah, so feel two. Yeah. Come on, boys. <laughs> okay. So three. three. So I lose another rank. Cool, yeah. Cool, cool. No. Yeah. Okay. So I use the vulnerable token. Yep. Yeah. And you are also vicious now, right? No. Um, I do, you're panicked. Okay, yeah, the, oh, it's the other one that... Uh, yeah, you're vulnerable uh, and panicked. Yeah, yeah, in order of ferocity makes you uh, vicious. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, minus one on an eight. Oh. Whoa. Three dead. Whoops. Okay, uh, yeah, I will try Lannister Supremacy dice. So uh, it's uh, a minus one, minus two, and then plus, plus one, one, so it's a minus one in overall. Uh, no, also the course ball, right? Or do you, do you did? Do yeah, you score? yeah, yeah, plus one so and seven. minus one. Yeah, so seven. Nope. Uh, so you take one more damage then, because of. Uh, uh, and since the ice is on there, I will heal with three back. Cool. And I didn't use the panic token. Shitty rolls. Okay. I'm gonna start a really bad uh, Lumpia place called Shitty Rolls. <laughs> it's uh, kind, of, kind of nice though. Uh, okay, um, so I will activate uh, Tyrion. I will go and stand here on the letters, or sorry, the money bags. Uh, yeah. It's not uh, one of those. So I will heal three more. 
and I will heal my Benic. And then it's back to you. Cool. And these have now been played as well. So. Uh, I'm gonna borch. Yeah, you're gonna borch. Yeah. Yeah, you have nothing else anymore, so. Uh, if you do nothing, you win, man. Why do I win? Because it's 6 5. If you just say activate, 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 you're done. Uh, yeah, but your card's nothing, so it's still. Yeah. It's um you just have yeah, we still have one more round, so uh of course. It's yeah. round five. So but I'm yeah. gonna yeah, I'm, I'm gonna activate right. the flayed man, see what they can do. I think you're gonna destroy it again. Let's hope so. Uh charge. Oh no, oh no, oh no. You they can do it. Well they they don't get oh, reward okay. attack so because of the core spell. Okay. So I can still play take the cards though. Uh, so I will go here. Um, but I'm not getting rerolls because of uh, the, the thingy. Oh. However, I can play cards if I want to. Uh, <laughs> nope, can't do anything. So, seven, five, seven. Uh, hitting on threes with critical blood. No rerolls. So, that's three. Three. With minus one. So, that's five plus. Yep. Two more. Two. So you're gonna survive anyway, it is. That's right. Uh, uh -huh. So this is minus uh, a lot. Plus one. Uh, plus one from Jamie. Minus one, so those are negating yeah. each other. Flank. Flank minus one. Yeah. Fish is minus three. Minus four for intimidating presence. So is fish is, is that minus two? Yeah. And so minus, minus four. Okay. Minus four. So ten yeah. plus. And you take then uh, two wounds, yeah, because of intimidating presence. And uh, I can heal two wounds again because of the high sparrow. Yeah. Okay. Is it any engaged unit or just uh, a unit within long range of this unit? Okay. So I can cool. also would have been in something else. Um, I'm getting butchered. Then I'm gonna use that one and see if I can uh, try and take them off. So six dice. On fours, no wheels. Uh, three. Three. Four plus. Yep, yep. Yep. One. And it's an one uh, plus one with a minus one from him. So yeah. a minus one overall. So seven. Yep. Yep, fine. Fine, fine. Otherwise, he would have been done. 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 Done the kebab. Okay. Uh, then I've got my other units left, uh, so they will make a small... Yeah, what do you want to do? I will move these guys. Yep. And Tywin will march up. I'm actually surviving, so... Yep. Surviving this the really boot. harsh Lannister force. They don't really die, do they? I think the, the, the corpse spells did, did a lot for me and that yeah. your dice rolls were really shizy. Yeah. So and I will go with him as well. So it's round. Now we have the final round. Yeah, so first clean up. We both don't score any points Some whatsoever. Stays, yeah. Yeah, I wanna stay on there. Uh, this one goes off. Dice sparrow goes off there. Um yeah, just get my Two cards extra. Yeah, since you only had one in your hand. I want to throw away uh, exploit weaknesses and broken resolve. And I can draw three more. Okay. Cool. And I will be first player now. But first we need to throw yeah. down a uh, card. Uh, so yeah, I only... <laughs> Engaged friendly unit in the enemy... Uh, I've got the one that if I kill a unit, you get two more dollars. Uh, because the other one is number... Uh, <laughs> 11. Yeah, it's 11. Yeah. So uh, Cool. Yeah. All right, so I will go first. Uh, oh, I wanted to actually draw three cards because I... Yeah, sure, that's to okay. Cards that's... Swiftly, swiftly position. That's fine. Uh, it's a cover unit card, so that's okay. <laughs> All right, cool. 
Uh, so yeah, I'm going to activate uh, my cell. Can we stand here on the, the left? Search. On the swords. You oh, become a weaken. And I will make an attack action with the flayed man. So seven dice. Yeah, you're gonna finish up, are you? Yep, probably. There we go. Borsch! On three. Oh. So six. With a minus one. So that's five. No, that's no. that. Okay. And that's game. Yeah, because I, I will give get two more points from him because uh, I I free Jamie. Yeah. So uh, he's one more <laughs> one more point. Come back to your father, my son. Uh, so I will go to eight, and we can't score anything from that. No. Uh, because yeah, this unit becomes now four points worth, uh, and and that's it. So it becomes eight to five, Thijs. Yeah. So and that's the end of the game. Yeah, let's end the game. Let's, let's uh, go to the after match uh, breakup. Yep. So guys, I have a wonderful army for sale. Um, it does really function really well in battle battles, but uh, it's a pretty cool paint army. You can contact me via Facebook, and uh, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Okay. You know. Um, yeah. The, the game eventually ended uh, in a wipe. Uh, what is it? Uh, eight points for me. Uh, five points for you. Yeah. Um, we we spoke a bit off camera. I think especially with the 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 roles you had and uh, not allowing to play some certain cards and everything really derailed your moment uh, because it was for me as the, as the Lannisters player and the more slow player really hard to stay up in the, the missions and everything yeah. and that's due to Tyce's movement with, with the cavalry units uh, the, the cards that Stark have etc and the uh, Brynn Tully cards really cool yeah absolutely really putting yeah. some pressure on there yeah and um yeah, no, sorry, guys. Oh, no, I'm falling. Oh, no, uh, my, my yeah. knees gave up. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm oh, going get up. Yeah, no, man. It's my, 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 my bad knees. So um, We don't actually have seats here. Yeah. If you want to support us on Patreon, you can actually yeah. get us some, some stools and stuff. So. Yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, we're innovating how and what. Sorry. Uh, um, hopefully you can still see me. Otherwise, yeah, too bad. It's a bit weird, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got beaten, man. I got no. No, I, I think there was one thing that really stood out. That's something we noticed at the end of the game. Only eight points by five. Yeah. But I didn't destroy any units. So all the points came from playing the mission. Yeah. So, uh, and you destroyed every unit. So five points from you came from the mission. So only... Th uh, no, look at five for killing and then three for only the mission. Yeah, so yeah. so only three points for, uh, the Lannisters got from the playing the mission. Yeah. So you see, I think the tactics were, were, were really good. Uh, favor for, for me yeah. so i really got the position right and i think i really got the push that i wanted yeah there's a lot of the, uh, missions that I didn't play that were uh having an unengaged and uh unit behind enemy lines uh, claiming mm -hmm. the um actually the uh, the objective markers uh further away to to your uh, deployment zone yeah and i think that that was really great with the deployment i had with the first couple uh turns i had yeah. but then my roles yeah, kind of the, the, the combat situation really changed my momentum and yeah. that made me lose it. But I think the setup, I yeah. think the, 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 the beginning of the game, I really dominated uh, the first Absolutely. two rounds or the yeah. two, two turns. Uh, and then uh, at the, yeah, after the third and fourth round, you, you completely uh, uh, butchered me. Yeah. Um, so maybe next time I play uh, some uh, butchers. Because that will be fitting. <laughs> yeah, but uh, what you said, I think as well, you you stayed outside the my charge ranges and stuff like that, yeah. and with the cards uh, that I could charge if you did a a, a maneuver. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, a good example as well was in mid of the game, uh, when the Tully Calviers made a charge on the Flame Man, ten dice. Uh, you had rerolls. Of course, you were weakened, but even before the weekend, you only hit it four times or four, something. Three like or that. four times, yeah. yeah. It was really and, terrible. And with the weekend, it was just two or three hits. Uh, so that that was that was really poorly. Uh, and I also said like there was a good opportunity for me to grab off the the bowman. And since you didn't do any wounds and I didn't feel the panic test, I kept horrific no. visage, uh, yeah. intimidating presence, that kind of stuff. Uh, and I rolled pretty well, even with no rerolls on there. Uh, I, I almost one shot at them, so that was a, a complete different. Uh, further, it did move you b back away from objective. The absolutely, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, So absolutely. technically, that was a good thing. Yeah, Who yeah. Who was your most valuable uh, unit? 
Uh, for me, the Flayed Man ties. Yeah, of uh, the Flayed Man killed eventually three of your units. It was my fastest unit. Uh, and double tapping it with issue command from Tywin, stuff like that, uh, really gave me the edge on you. Yeah. Uh, and I think a second, and was also really important, was the High Sparrow. Yeah, it was a healing uh, uh, power. Yeah, because you failed so much, and we already said at the beginning, we rolled randomly for the terrain. And also the two corp spells he'll help me I quite a lot. I think the two corp spells are yeah. where your MVP uh, when yeah. it comes to terrain uh, pieces. Yeah, because at some point you had at so much rolls Min minus, minus five, five minus or four. something yeah. like that. Yeah, that really changed uh, the momentum as well. Yeah, um, and that's why the high sparrow kept healing me three wounds, or mm -hmm. I couldn't even use my card of healing four, but no. uh, it it healed my flayed man, it healed my guardsman multiple times so that they stay healthy on yeah. multiple lines. If you rolled normally, and with the difference a little bit of that, I think I would have you, dominated you, you, you yeah, with you the would, mission cards. Yeah, I think I would have easily checked eight or ten points yeah. in round three or four. Yeah, uh, if if I if everything went according to plan. My mm -hmm. MVP definitely the Kali Cavaliers, Cavaliers, because they really yeah. are durable, and um, yeah, I really like the yeah. Also the. the um, I think also uh, the two NCUs for me. Yeah. Because they really, they really gave me some, some, some tweakability, some customizable, yeah. getting the cards back or uh, removing some tokens that you placed on me because you have a lot of things that give out tokens. Yeah. So give, yeah, that really helped as well. Yeah, Sansa giving you more opportunities to play uh, the Tully cards from yeah. from Brynden. Uh, Not the, even the Winter's Coming or those, but especially the Tully cards. Yeah, uh, from Brendan. Those are really yeah. Uh, so you helpful. could you could prevent me from charging. So you you I don't yeah. get rerolls. I don't get stuff like that. Or you can, uh, if I want to move to an objective, you could hold me off an objective and everything. Yeah. So that's uh, it's really funky, uh, man. Yeah, yeah, I really uh, like Brendan as an uh, as a commander. Yeah, me too. So uh, yeah. So final result, I lost uh, by, with a total wipe, but only eight to five victory points. Yeah. So it wasn't a big uh, difference. Um, I really enjoyed this and I uh, hope to see you guys next time. Yeah, uh, thank you very much indeed for, for watching this. Uh, thank you for all the help, effort you put in here as well through likes, comments, etc. If you didn't do that already, well, we asked you quite a lot with the intro <laughs> and everything. Yeah. Please do so, it really helps me and Thijs keep going on with it. And also, yeah, if you want to see other armies, uh, yeah, we have. Starks, we've got Lannisters, we've got Baratheons, uh, Rally, uh, Targaryen as well. Yeah. Uh, we've Greyjoy. Got Greyjoy. <laughs> we've got it all almost. Yeah, the free only one. Folk. No, we don't have Free Folk and Nightwatch, so don't ask those. Yeah. <laughs> maybe later. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, we want to try out maybe some more narrative, yeah. narrative Use things the, as well. The, the models I like today that you don't see very often. Yeah. So Maybe we'll see, uh, see a few more of those. Maybe some uh, yeah. mountains and stuff. Uh, and as always, uh, uh, happy, 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 happy. happy.